lopsided, but as we've seen, anything can happen. Anything can definitely happen, B.A. And look, you have to understand that every guy in this league is talented. If you come in flat and those other guys are inspired, you can fall. Oh, he got wow. his timing down. Such a dynamic offensive player. Great speed, great hops. Simon's hard to stop when he makes his move. Here's Harden. And Harden with the slam. What? see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Simon's shot is good. That's exactly how you utilize the pick and roll. Simon's looking really comfortable in the set there. Harden against Simon's. His man tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. You know, when the Clippers first moved to L.A., people assumed they'd be second fiddle to the Lakers. Not necessarily the case. The B.A., to, to be honest with you, they were for a long time. And then they moved into this building. There was a bit of a shift, and the Clippers started dominating the regular season. They don't have the championship, but I'll tell you what, a powerful owner and a couple star players, that'll flip the faithful around for you. Well, the evolution of Grant has been something to watch. His offense has really grown by leaps and bounds and has become more consistent. George with it. Nibel picks him up. George passes to Harden. Takes a three. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. He's never shy to let it go from three-point range. Harden wants to make the D's job as tough as possible. Simons finds Brogdon. Back to Simons. Aiden, a screen on George. There's Simons with a three. He drops it from range. Simons has got eight. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Pass to man. Oh, a big finish with a one-handed jam. The D keyed in too much on Harden there, leaving his man wide open. Out left to the wing. The three from Aiton counted from distance. Hey, when he's hitting that shot, it really helps the spacing for this team. Yeah, no question. He is connecting from those kind of spots on the floor. It is just a huge boost for what they can do offensively. Tice passes to man. Tice is screen on Simons. Back to Tice. Simons with a rebound. Well, you could tell right there he just wanted to go for the jam, but the defense too good and distracting. Here's Grant. It's deflected. Here's Leonard. Stolen by Aiden. Thibel finds Grant. That one falls. He's got five. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Pass to Tice. It's George on the wing. Tice, a screen on Aiden. Back to Tice. George scanning the floor. Five to shoot. Tice, a screen on Aiden. For three, George. Here's Leonard. Back to Tice. Here's Harden. Count it. All three of his attempts have gone in. It's impressive how Harden makes room inside. He finds a way to navigate the shots. And the foul called on Paul George. That's foul number two for him. For the Clippers, Tucker's checked in for Leonard. And it's Westbrook in for Harden. Simons passes to Aiden. Now here's Thibel. Back to Aiden. Into the lane. And Aiden with the stuff. Oh, yeah, that's got the crowd charged up. Aiden way up high. Westbrook against Brogdon. 
It's stolen by Brogdon. Now the Blazers on the move. And Brogdon with the stuff. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Well, looking back, it wasn't too long ago, Grant. The Blazers had an eight-year playoff streak. NBA, that's no easy task. Some great years, but couldn't get over the hump. Now I think it's time to reset and build around their youth. Russell Westbrook just out there and focused, trying to find ways in which he can help out his team to secure any win. George with it, picked up by Grant. Dybul with a steal. And here come the Trailblazers again. Portland in transition. Count it. Simon's playing unselfish. That's going to help this team get into great rhythm. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. They trail by 11. To the inside, Tice, and finished off by Tice. You can expect Westbrook to find an open shooter. He trusted him with the pass that time. Count it, good. Hayden's got seven. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. Well, dominant so far, that's the responsibility of the starters. Now let's see if everybody else who plays in this. Anthony Simons has been leading the charge for Portland. He gave his all to help his team in that quarter. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Portland. I must say their defensive intensity has been impressive so far. Really making it hard for the offense to hold on to the ball. Well, they really cashed in on the break. I mean, it feels like they're hungry to get out, they're hungry to run, and they're not passing up any chances to leak out and score. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second. Sharp teams with Thibel on the perimeter. Robert Williams out there with Jeremy Grant. And it's Brogdon in at the point guard position. And with the surge in scoring around the league, Brent, what's the key to modern NBA defense? Great question, B.A. I mean, you have to have versatility. You have to have coaches that can get creative. And you got to have players who are wanting to buy in on the defensive end. You just cannot give great scores in this league, as a ton of them, a steady diet of shooting from three. And you got to keep them guessing. Shot clock at six. Oh, Leonard laces it in from distance. Why typically solid from three. You're not sure you want to leave him open like that. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Brian, with PG and Kawhi, the Clippers feel they have the talent to win it all. George said both, both of us internally had a promise to bring a championship here. This core has been here for years now. And when you look at the teams that win and are very successful, it's the teams that have been together, gel and connect. Brian? Yeah, that's the right philosophy there. All about health. Thanks, Allie. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. They get so much effort and energy from Zubox, especially on the glass, Brent. Well, he's the kind of guy, B.A., I don't think any other opponent wants to face on a given night. A relentless big man that's physical, that plays around the rim, that doesn't mind contact. This guy's willing to sacrifice his body every minute he's on the floor. Harden, the pass to Leonard. Fires for three. And Harden gets it to go on the assist by Leonard. Harden's got ten. And we continue to see Leonard and his patience being able to deliver the ball like that. Rebounded by James Harden. Let's hope for his sake that he does not try that one ever again. And Harden with the slam. The execution has been better lately. But do they have enough energy to pull it off? Well, they've shown both effort and will to get back into this one. But can they finish this one off? Can't let up now. Now a timeout called by Portland. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Tucker's checked in for the Clippers. Westbrook comes in for Harden. 
Westbrook against Henderson. Tucker with a screen on Henderson. Westbrook, the pass to Tucker. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Tucker's got his first bucket in this one. I'm used to seeing P.J. Tucker set a lot of screens uh, on that part of the floor, but man, he can do damage with the J, too. Aiden, a screen on Highland. There's Simons with a three. His first miss of the game. Three of four from the field now. Now Los Angeles with it. They're on a 15-6 run. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Tice has checked in for Los Angeles. Can't hit from in close. Yeah, better than giving up the layups. You want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's progressive attitude defensively. George, he's checked in for Highland. Here's Henderson. And count that. And they're not happy with the call here. Coach has given the signal. He's going to use his challenge. Probably a good idea in such a close contest. And, and even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen so many of these personal foul calls still disputed. Be a gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look. So the officials can be sure they get it right. And the Clippers making a change here. Man's checked in. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And they've made their decision. The call will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still peeing. For the Clippers, Zubac, he's checked in for Tice. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Tucker, and it's Harden in for Westbrook. And in most other draft classes, Scoot Henderson could have been a top pick. Yeah, he has the talent and skill you want in a number one overall pick. Circumstance of the class drops him down, but he has everything we look for in a franchise centerpiece. Wow! I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. I'd like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. That one falls for Grant. At the line for the Trailblazers. Jeremy and so Grant nails them both. The Clippers trail. George outside. On the wing man. Leonard outside. Just five to shoot. Down low. And Leonard powers it down. Oh, man. When Kawhi dunks, you feel it. This is how powerful that guy is. Sharp goes in. And he lays it up and in. And the Trailblazers lead by five. <laughs> With his level of quickness, it's tough to keep up defensively. On the wing, Hart defended by Murray. Here's Man. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. An excellent job of taking what the defense is given. Grant, the pass to Williams. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused. But weird plays happen. No good on that one. Tice is checked in for Los Angeles. And he sinks the second. Harden with it. He's got 14. Pass to man. Puts up a deep three. Yes. And a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got three assists in the game. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Timeout called. Portland. Tucker's checked in for Los Angeles. Westbrook comes in for Harden. Portland has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. George against Simons. It's tipped! Westbrook against Brogdon. 
Pass to man. It's stolen by Thibault. It's all tied in Los Angeles. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. been a fairly even one we are seeing an outstanding game from james harden hey we didn't expect this not normally a big time assist maker he's done a great job moving the ball around and you can get into a passing rhythm and so far all of his have been on point why leonard out there with daniel tice then it's terrence mann then it's james harden and it's george in at the two so that's the lineup on the floor for the clippers for the lead too easy for Leonard. Kawhi's got that broad build and those long arms. It can be pretty easy for him to find those kind of shots. Simons passes to Aiden. There's the drive. And Aiden with the stuff. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Pass to man. 4-3. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Man's got 11 points. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. It's the Trailblazers from deep. Exactly what every offense needs. Shooters who can force the defense to extend. Oh, there's no doubt he's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. Tice's screen on Simons. Three-pointer, Harden. And it's Portland with a the rebound. They've led by as many as 11. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. George with a steal. He saw the pass coming a mile away. Was perfectly positioned to intercept it. Pass to Tice. Let's it go from deep. Can't get it to drop. And it's Simons with the ball for Portland. It's a three-point game. When you think about Paul George, still regarded as an elite two-way player present. Yeah, you get that dynamic play on the offensive end where he's capable of 35 points any given night. But defensively shutting down the team's perimeter all-star, that is rarefied air for a star player in this league. For the Clippers, Tucker comes in for Leonard, and it's Russell Westbrook in for James Harden. Pass to man. Tice inside. He's covered by Aiden. Will it go? And that one's good. Man. Man's got five points now this quarter. Portland has gone two for two from deep here in the third. And he jams it home with authority. Well, you got to find ways to keep feeding Anthony Simons. Right now, this guy is on fight. And there's the foul. It's on DeAndre Ayton. That's foul number two for him. So for the Clippers, Coffee, he's checked in for man. And it's Highland in for Paul George. Timeout called, Portland. Clippers making a switch here. Zubats. Checked in. And so here are the Clippers. Trailing by five. Here's Highland. Yep, that one goes. Highland's got five points. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Sharp passes to Williams. Robert Williams. One tough customer right there. Good pass from the two guard, Sharp. Solid at finding his open man. Tucker with a screen on Brogdon. Westbrook with it. Picked up by Graham. 
Tucker against Williams. Tucker, the pass to Coffey. And it's blocked by Thibault. And for some reason, he decided to foul there. Yeah, B.A., that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind him. A minute 31 left in the third quarter. Sharp passes to Williams. And Williams punches it home. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. Coffee on the wing. Westbrook outside. Zubats screen. Fires from deep. The putback. Now Portland with it. They're on a 16-7 run. And so they choose to intentionally foul. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Trailblazers. They've been slippery getting into the lane all game long. Putting that help defense to the test. And it seemed like throughout this game, right after the jump ball, they've just been feeling it from distance, getting all the looks they want and continuing to take advantage of that three-point line. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for Los Angeles. James Harden comes in for Russell Westbrook. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line, a chance at a three-point play. Zubat's such a towering presence, a guy who's capable of scoring through contact. Portland has got five of seven threes to drop here tonight. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Highland looking for an opening. The claw slashing his way inside. Well, I like what the defense tried to do. Uh, they crowded Kawhi, but he's just getting so creative near the basket. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Brogdon's got seven. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Drains the triple. Now, you know Harden wants to utterly own the arc. He just won't let threes go unanswered. Sharp passes to Graham. Brogdon against Leonard. And here's Grant from the arc. And he can't get that one. With one on the clock. That shot, no good. And so it's the Portland Trailblazers leading by six as we wrap. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And from the two-guard spot, an unselfish play like this sets a fantastic tone. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And on the floor for Portland here in the fourth. Thibel and Grant are at the forward spots. Malcolm Brogdon out there with Shaden Sharp. And it's Williams in at the center position, filling out the middle. Here's Tice, and finished off by Tice. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. And left no doubt with that one, Grant. Sharp goes in. Harden against Brogdon. And he drives in. Oh, Grant throws it down. And Grant using his greatest strength on the drive, the athleticism. That's hard to match up against. Harden against Brogdon. And the ball out of play. The Trailblazers will have it. Yeah, the body language right now is not looking good for this basketball team. The game might be out of reach, but they have to avoid mistakes like that. Aiden, he's checked in for Portland. Anthony Simons comes in for Brogdon. Simons passes to Gray. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. That one falls for Grant. And so it's Leonard who brings up the ball for the Clippers. 11-point game. George's shot is off. For Portland, they've gone a perfect 3-for-3 three three here in the fourth. Aiden, a screen on Leonard. Grant, the pass to Aiden. Outside for Grant. The three is up. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. 
Yeah, Grant has really embraced this part of his game, becoming a reliable three-point shooter. Harden. Pass to Leonard. Harden with it. Dybul picks him up to halt the run. And the dunk by Leonard. Did you guys see that? What an insane slam. Man, you got to have some hang time to pull that off. And that's an intentional foul. The timeout called Portland. First personal foul. First team. Trailblazers take a timeout. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Brogdon's checked in. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Guys, over the last break, I listened to Chauncey Billups address the team. Coach cautioned his team against feeling comfortable. He said the moment we take our foot off the gas, they're back in it. Let's push through the finish line. Brian? All right, Allie, thanks once again. Harden into the lane. Tries again. And again, it's the Clippers missing. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area, and the defense gets away with one there. And let's face it, when you're down this many points, you simply can't let them get that good of a look. Teachable moment there, lapses like this are backbreakers. Pass to Mann. Tice a screen on Simons. Here's Mann. Offline with a three. The Trailblazers have gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Grant, the pass to Aiden. And Daniel Tice picks up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. Cuts off the pass. And it's the Clippers on the break. Three-pointer, Harden gets the three to fall. Harden's got 20 points. <laughs> and just a great effort from Harden on the break. I mean, he can score any way he wants. Simons passes to Thibel. On the wing, Simons. George defending. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Simons has got 13 points here in the second half alone. And I love Simons' balance on that play right there. Stayed in control and stayed tight. Here's George. And the jam by George. Paul George dunk contest? Eh, maybe a little over, but I love to see him get up. To the paint. Here's Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Leonard, good. And he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. There's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. And here's Simons outside. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. They gave up a three at the other end. That's Simons response. Pass to man. Three pointer. Simons with a rebound. Portland has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. And a comfortable win for them here. Game is out of reach. Time for the fans now to celebrate a win for the Trailblazers. Absolute fireworks display. High scoring game. They were unstoppable, Grant. Yeah, just relentless from start to finish. And the pace was furious. Ultimately, they wore out the other team. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Anthony Simons. Well, those points he had tonight, all critical, all from energy and activity. He just never seemed to stop. Ooh, good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always. And the second free throw is good. And he can't make it three for three. We've got 33 seconds left in the final quarter. From outside the arc. Buries it from three. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. I'll tell you what, they're really fortunate there. Those long bomb passes usually spell disaster, but they get away with one there. George against Simons. Pass to Aiden. That one's good for two. And the Trailblazers lead by 16. 
you got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. You love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Leonard passes to Tice. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. The first one falls. At the line for your foot. And good on the second, so he makes them both.
looking at the quality of these teams on paper but we see these types of games in this league and sometimes they can surprise you listen every team is not a title contender some squads are in that rebuilding phase let's see if the weaker team can compete tonight so the opening lineup for the Suns: Akogi and Durant are the forwards Evan Booker out there with Gordon and it's Bull in at the center how fun is it to watch Kevin Durant, especially when he's shooting the lights out? Now, here's Simon. And the three ball is good. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Durant kicks to Booker. Durant against Grant. And the jam by Kevin Durant. If you give him enough room, Durant won't hesitate to throw it down. Aiton attacking. And Aiton throws it down. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. It's Durant on the way. He's covered by Grant. And Katie throws it down. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Grant sets a screen for Simon. And another three for Portland. He is so accurate from the perimeter. Simons takes these shots with such confidence. Durant wide open. He fires. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now, here's Fiber. And Aiton throws it down. And it's the way Aiton uses his body inside. It's what allows him to get so close to the basket. Booker with it. Defended by Fiber. And the dunk by Booker. Guys, what a wild first half this has been. <laughs> a while back in fourth start, that's for sure. It seems like whenever Matisse Thibault's number has been called, he's been ready. GA really speaks to his confidence and his professionalism. Matisse Thibault embraces his role, and he's ready to go when his number is called. Shot clock at six, and the dunk by Grant. If he has a lane, Grant's taking it right to the rack. Here's KD, and finished off by KD. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. Passes it to Grant. Aiton in the high post. Kicks it out to Grant. Banked in off the glass. Very high percentage look for Grant. Those kinds of plays just get you in rhythm and keep you there. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Bull finds Booker. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Portland leading. And here we go. Trailblazers with a fast break. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of content. Folks, the coach's challenge has been initiated for a personal foul. Most game like this, and he thought it wasn't a good call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls, the previous play is under the Fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively, and involving the coaches by being able now to challenge like this is something a lot of people. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And so the word is in. They have decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this is the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. You're double checking, and the game continues on. It's obvious that Simon's game is the product of hard work. You don't get to be as accurate as he is without lots of practice time. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Now here's Durant. He's got 11. Going inside. The long strides of Durant gliding through the lane. Throw it down, big fella. Some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. I'll tell you, at his size, once he gets it in there, it's over. Suns trail by three. 
121 left here in the opening quarter. And it's Phoenix scoring again. And showing off a little with the handles there. Man, is Booker fun to watch. Here's Grant driving to the basket. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. I like what he's doing here. Terrific efficiency scoring the basketball. Peyton finds Grant. From outside the arc, and the Trailblazers, another three. Look who came up with the answer. Jeremy Grant putting them on notice. Here's Booker, and the dunk by Booker. Hey, dunks aren't always for the big fellow. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Peyton, and Peyton throws it down. A jack of all trades. Jeremy Grant also has a strong feel for when his guys are uncovered. Count it. Durant's got 18 points in the game. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And the first time out of the game called here for the Trailblazers. There's 21 seconds left in the first. Rodden looking it over. To the middle, there's Williams, and it's slammed in by Williams. An unreal athlete. Williams gets off the floor with such ease to power it down. There's Peel with the three. Jeremy Grant, he is feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Portland. He and if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Trailblazers. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that high. And also, guys, they're playing for one another right now. All those extra passes are leading to easy buckets. The wingman is Sharp and Feibel. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon. Then it's Rob Williams. They're the group the Portland Trailblazers will start the second quarter with. When it comes to the essential components of a winning team, GA, how much importance do you place on veteran leadership? Kevin, I think it's important. You want a few guys in the locker room who've seen it all. Players who can keep the ship steady if the team kind of goes awry or has a tough stretch. Sharp testing the defense down the lane and seceding. They couldn't keep up. Here's Booker. Six points for him. KD on the wing. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Booker's got five assists in the game. Yet another bucket in close. That's how he's earning his points today. Here's Sharp. Tries again. And Williams with the lead. Williams has got the lead up to five now for the Trailblazers. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Go into the rack with energy and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defender. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged and everything has to be earned. Eubanks, he's checked in for the Suns. And it's Brogdon off the drive, and he uses the glass on the lane. And this is how confident Brogdon is in his scoring ability, able to get it done from everywhere. For three, Booker. They grab their own miss. And Durant is right there. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. Right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. Sharp, the pass to Aiton. Here's Sharp. He feeds it to Grant. Just five to shoot. Aiton trying to break free. 
so smart defensively. KD in great position. Sent that one back. And there's the call on Malcolm Brockton. First, first that is his first foul of the game. First team foul. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Now here's Booker, defended by Kybel. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. Portland's gone three of three from three-point land here tonight. And now we've got the intentional foul. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Aiton, the pass to Sharp. Back to Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. Nice pass. You love how Sharp anticipates situations. Booker outside. Down low. Here's Eubanks. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Sharp's job out there as the two guard is to make buckets. But that can open up passing lanes for him, too. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Hey, Kevin, thanks very much. You know, Devin Booker has a take on load management. He says, I'm not a part of that. I spend a lot of time in the summer making sure my body can take that load on. I want to be out there doing what I have to to help the team. That's how I've always been. And I haven't lost sight of those kids up in the stands that might be seeing me for the first time. Kevin, back to you. I like that perspective, D.A. Thanks. Another three for Phoenix. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Here's Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. And the all-around offensive game Aiton has is just fantastic. Capable of scoring in many different ways. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. The Suns have gone two for two in the game at the line. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. So both teams making some changes here. Both free throws good from Booker. An elite offensive threat. Booker continues to try and find ways to improve his game. For three, Henderson, and another three for Portland. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it's seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Pass to Okogi. Back to Booker. To the paint. Here's Eubanks. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Great timing by Booker, setting up his teammate for success. Henderson attacking. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Huge hole in the defense that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. Now Booker, 14 points for him. To the inside. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Don't underestimate Booker's passing ability. He's getting better and better at making plays for others. Inside. Great pass to set up the lay-in. And the Trailblazers lead by two. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. And Booker throws it down. Just on fire tonight. Devin Booker is feeling it, folks. And the Suns call time. That will count. It doesn't go for him. Solid defensive possession from Brogdon. All effort from the former Rookie of the Year. 50. The Suns. 50. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And 
and we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. And he's been a monster in this game, throwing down some huge dunks. And I wasn't sure the rim would even survive in that first half. And I can't wait to see what he has in store during this second half. Some of those jams were downright absurd. Setting the floor for the Suns, Akogi and Durant are the forwards. Gordon is out there with Bradley Beal, and it's Bull in at the center position. And this is his bread and butter. Give Beal these looks from deep, and he is going to knock them down. Talking about, oh my goodness! Did you see what a that play! One, <laughs> Unbelievable! And not even three quarters out of the way. So many lead changes. The fans, guys, are getting their money's worth. Heck, I should have paid to watch this one. It's been a nail. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. Once Beal gets going on the bounce, it's almost an automatic two-point. And stolen by Bull. And now the Suns, a fast break. And Durant puts up a deep three. Another three for Phoenix. Well, that's why they're in front. Uh, aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. And then Sharp with the dunk. Shaden Sharp saw his chance and exploded up to the rim. And so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. A two-point game. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. And some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Jeremy Grant clearly unfazed on that shot. Back to Beal. It's Bull top of the key. And the jam by Kevin Durant. <laughs> oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Second personal foul. First team foul. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Oh, and Bull with the block! And that massive wingspan coming into play there. Bull uses it to perfection to block shots. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. The Suns shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And the first one at the line is good. Henderson's checked in for Brogdon. And both free throws good for Beal. And now a veteran in this league. Beal is hungry to compete for championships at this stage of his career. The pass to Henderson. Here's Grant and the dunk by Grant. Straight rim rocker. It looked like a great for a second, like he might rip the cylinder loose. Here's Durant, and then Durant with the dunk. KD is on fire, doing a little bit of everything in this one. And Simons, here we go. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Outside Beal. There's the drive. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. And defenses have to respect Beal's jumper. That helps part the C on that possession. Pass to Grant. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Dishes it to Aiton. And that's a foul called on Bull Bull. That's his first foul. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. And the Suns making a change here. Bodies checked in. Goes up to the strike. A shot's good from Simon. Simons has got 16. The mid-range J from Simons. Old school. Durant for three. Another three for Phoenix. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Here's KD, and then Durant with the dunk. For a guy who is almost seven feet, Kevin Durant has tight handles. Trailblazers trail by seven. Simons kicks to Anderson. 
then Henderson with the jam. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Here's Beal. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Can't let Beal get that comfortable because he's so efficient once he gets in that area. Now a timeout called by Portland. And the Suns here with a different look. Eubanks, he's checked in for Bull Bull. O'Neal comes in for Kevin Durant. Mason Allen's checked in for Gordon, and it's Booker in for Beal. The shot by Brogdon, wide open. Off target with his three. Phoenix calls timeout. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Sharps checked in. Phoenix leading by seven. The drive by Booker and the dunk by Booker. An underrated athlete with a solid handle. Defenders can't always keep up with Booker on the drive. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Brogdon. Plays it up and banks it in. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. One on the clock, and he jams it with authority. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. The Suns on top, up nine. From Portland, we're back in a... And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court dish. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. The wingman at Sharp and Thibel. Then it's Rob Williams. Then there's Malcolm Brockton. That's the group on the floor for Portland. And here is Allen. Kicks it out to Booker. Fires for three. Another three for Phoenix. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Suns. Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball. Quick hands causing a lot of steals. And you also have to applaud how they've been able to create turnovers. And then convert those on the offensive end. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Chauncey Phillips coaching up his team during that break. Now, he asked for one thing, intensity. He said, I need you to crank it up to 11 out there. That's how we turn it around. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Bowl was screen on Brogdon. Jordan outside. Good D by Brogdon. Great perimeter D. Gave a good shooter absolutely no room to operate. And Jeremy Grant picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Booker outside. Poke loose. And here we go. The kick out to Simon. Ayton sets the pick for Simon. Can't drop the tough three-pointer. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And Jeremy Grant picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. First team foul. Bowl dishes to KD. Bowl a screen on Grant. And that one's good, Durant. Durant's got 38 points. 
This just in, Kevin Durant is good. How easy does offense come to him? Aiton sets the pick for Simon. Left side, Grant. Will it go? A shot, no good. Good work defensively by KD. Down low, here's Bull. That's good, and a nice assist from Durant. And the Suns lead by 19. Selfless play by Durant, not trying to do everything by himself out there. Grant with a screen on Booker. Simons, the pass to Grant. He dishes it to Aiton. Six on the shot clock. And the dunk by Grant. And he put on his hard hat on the offensive glass. Jeremy Gregg knows where to be in these situations. Durant down low. He's covered by Grant. And how about he takes on the defender head on and then throws down the two-hand pass. Nice. Straight power there. Straight power. And once Simons gets cooking, watch out because he's capable of dominating games all by himself. Now here's Booker. Defense is right there. 139 left in the fourth quarter. And the jam by Kevin Durant. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. Second personal foul. And that one misses. At the line for your Trailblazers. And he's good on the second. Boy, he'd sure like to have that this back. Hard to chip away at a lead when you're leaving freebies at the line. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for Phoenix. And the big difference here was accuracy from three-point range. Yeah, and once they started sinking shots, they really stretched out the D and created other opportunities. And any time they got space, they seemed to just knock down another triple. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for KD. Hard not to be impressed by what he did tonight. He was aggressive, he was efficient, and the defense had no answer. It is tough to overlook the pedigree of the Grant family. But you see where Jeremy Grant gets his challenge. No mistake in that, Kevin. When your dad is Harvey Grant and your uncle is Horace Grant, you're destined to make it in the NBA. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there on the defense. And one thing you love about Jeremy Grant is his versatility as a player. GA plays both ends with activity and skill. A switchable 6'8 frame. He's a plug-and-play on any roster in this league. Shoots a fader. And the Suns miss again. And so Aiton will bring it up for Portland. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Gordon against Simon. There's the three. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant.
Sharing is caring, Doris. Tonight's game is a great example of that. Two teams with a lot of assists. What you like about both of these teams is every player has an opportunity to touch the basketball. And generally speaking, the more engaged you become, the more you touch it. Doesn't mean everybody gets equal shot opportunities, but these teams play a pretty style of basketball. All right, let's check out the starting group for the Thunder. They've got Josh Giddy. Gordon Hayward is out there with Lou Dort. Then it's Chet Holmgren, and it's Gilgis Alexander in at the point guard position. Yeah, Booker keeping that defense off balance with his passing ability right there. Hayward for three. It's hauled in by the Suns. And here's Booker. Outside bowl. Here's the three. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. Well, that's an unselfish player who definitely wants to get his teammates involved. A willing passer there, Booker. He was all alone on that one. <laughs> this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now here's Durant. Another one falls for Phoenix. With KD's length and size, there aren't many defenders he simply can't shoot over. Kiltis Alexander finds Hayward. Dort outside. Giddy with it. Defended by Gordon. Fires the three. And it's Giddy missing. The Suns have gone three of three so far from the floor. Over Gilchis Alexander. And there's Durant. That one's good. On the assist from Booker. Booker's got three assists in the game. Hayward for three. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. Well, Gordon Hayward unafraid to be aggressive with his three-point shot. This guy has a ton of confidence in that jumper. Inside. And Durant with the big finish. This is why you put the ball in his hands. An accurate pass hitting a moving target. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Lays it up and banks it in. Yeah, teams will try to get physical with SGA, but make sure you understand that wiry frame is big time strong. And Grant, when you scan the OKC roster, you see length at every position. Yeah, it's definitely their philosophy, B.A. We're seeing a number of franchises going that route. What I would say about the Thunder, though, many of their guys still have some strength to add. And he makes it first. And Bull drops them both. The Thunder have gone four of six in the first quarter. Hayward finds Gilgis Alexander. The three. He can't get it to go. Nice D from Durant. And Gordon has got the ball here for the Phoenix Suns. Three-point lead. Bull a screen on Giddy. To the middle. Here's Durant. Shakes him. And that's two points on the layup. Durant's got 10. We call that the ultimate high percentage look for one of the most efficient scorers ever. KD in the house. Dort for three. Okogi pulls down the board. The Suns have got all six shots to fall in the first. Booker, the pass to Bowl. And finished off by Bowl. What you love about this young guard, Devin Booker, is his ability to hurt you with both his passing and his shooting. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. Six points for him. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Here's Durant, and it's slammed in by Durant. Well, you see how hard Kevin Durant works to set up that shot. You've got to be able to use the screen and get to the cup. Here's the pick. Back to Hayward. The three ball. Oh, the Thunder, another three. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Pass to Booker. Here's Durant. One's good. Give the assist to Booker. <laughs> Kevin Durant doing Kevin Durant things, not only scoring, but doing it in an efficient manner. Holmgren, the pass to Dort. Screen by Holmgren. Down low. Hayward with it. Here he goes. Hey, the slam by Hayward. 
consistent. And this early scoring is as much about the lackluster defense as it is about either team's offense. Booker against Dort. Bowl, a screen on Dort. Pass to Bowl. Back to Booker. Fires the three. Rejected by Holmgren. Wow, I mean, the seven foot six wingspan coming in handy. Holmgren loves swatting away shots just like this. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Here's Holmgren. And there's another one for the Thunder. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. Nine seconds left now in the first quarter. Beal right side. He gets it up. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. Some good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Phoenix. In the early goings, their effort level has been exceptional. They're speeding around the defense and opening up options with good penetration. Another strength for them today, guys, mid-range shooting. Normally the defense wants to give you that shot. Let's see if they adjust at all. Uh, Kogi and Durant, they're the forwards. Devin Booker out there with Eric Gordon. And it's Eubanks in at the five, down low. That's the Suns five as we get into the second quarter. Clock at six. Outside Durant. Launches a three. KD! What else would you expect? And KD, if you allow him to spot up, the easy money sniper will not miss. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Devin Booker knows that fame comes with downsides. He said, quote, I'm on the bigger stage, so there's going to be more haters. That's life. But every day I wake up grateful for the opportunity to play. Back from being a little kid who wanted to be in the NBA, I have never lost sight of that. That's what keeps me going. Brian? Okay, Allie, thank you. Good stuff. Well, Grant, we saw a lot of lower seeds winning series in last year's playoffs. Is the regular season losing importance? You know, B.A., there's greater parity, which means less separation in the league, especially between the top seeds and the bottom seeds. But still, the league needs to make sure regular season games do matter. Now here's Dort, still without a bucket. Williams passes to Sajay. And here's Dort. Outside, Williams. And that's good from 17 feet. Listen, you give a good shooter that kind of look, and it's going to go in. The Suns leading. Here's Booker to the paint. Here's Eubanks. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Impressive one-hand slam right there, B.A. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Boy, that foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, I know. It just doesn't make sense, given the situation. Some changes for Phoenix. Bowl comes in for Eubanks. And it's Beal in for Devin Booker. Hayward, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Shea Gilgis Alexander comes in for Williams. Okogi, the pass to Bowl. Phoenix no good that time either. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. Now here's Beal. Left side, Durant. Out to Beal. Back to Durant. Shoots over Hayward. Durant's shot is off. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Dort finds Holmgren. From deep, Giddy. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. 
and great awareness. Holmgren so good at reading the movement of his teammates, a very heady passer for a big man. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, Grant. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Reads the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times. This one for three. And it's Holmgren missing. And Gordon has got the ball here for the Suns. To the inside. Oh, K.D. Filthy. What a pass by Bradley Beal. This guy is... elite scorer, but don't forget about his passing skills. And they go to the intentional foul. Kevin Durant, second personal foul, second team foul. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Holmgren with a screen on Beal. Inside. And the big finish by Holmgren. Yeah, the defense making it way too easy for Holmgren. Got to push him farther out than this. Nice shot by Durant. Well, he's been shooting it so well because he's been so active, moving and working to get high percentage shots. Dort for three. Bearing his second of three attempts. You can see the work Lou Dort has put in to make himself a threat from three. That's a pretty looking shot right there. Hayward against Beal. Here's Durant. Durant! So effective inside. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Gilgis Alexander passes to Hayward. From deep, Holmgren. Another shot. And Hayward with a lay-in. Hayward's got 12 points in the game. Yeah, I mean, listen, Gordon Hayward may not have the biggest frame in the NBA, but this guy will make up for it with aggressiveness. Time Bart. called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. Eubanks, he's checked in for Bowl. O'Neal comes in for Durant. Allen, he's checked in for Okogi. And it's Roddy in for Gordon. Beal against Gilgis Alexander. Beal into the lane. That's just a great move by Beal. Little shake, little bake right there. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Off target from three point range. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Beal against Gilgis Alexander. Now here's Beal. Defense right on him. Clock at four. Pulls it from 20. And it's Phoenix with another. But you can talk about bailout options. There are a few better than Bradley Beal. Kevin Durant has been leading the charge for Phoenix. 27 on the night. He's had it his way. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks a lot. I'm with Frank Vogel and Coach. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. You know, Kevin Durant has really been making it happen here, guys. Well, if he's hit threes like he did in the first half, he's going to have a monster night. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy. Ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. And Oklahoma City, looking at who they've got. We've got Lugan Stort, Chad Holmgren out there with Gordon Hayward. Then it's Josh Kitty, and it's Gilgis Alexander in at the one. 
And that's out of bounds. It was last touch by Booker. Oklahoma City trailing. And when it comes to Royce O'Neal, there's a reason this guy plays big minutes, Grant. Well, B.A., it's all because he has the trust of his teammates and his coaches. Just a high IQ guy who never plays in a rush. So it's Phoenix now. The Thunder making their last shot. Here's O'Neal. And he's going to the left. And in a game this close, they're going to challenge the call. The coach does not agree with it, and he wants them to take another look at the monitor. People were worried that this would slow the action down. But with so many close calls in every game, the NBA was... The previous play is under review. One thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up and make the refs take another look. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And they've made their decision. The call so will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still peed. And the first one at the line is good. And so he's able to get one of two. Oklahoma City's gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Dort for three. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got his fourth assist in this one. Booker with it from downtown. Ooh, Booker from range. Pure. How about the competitor answering? Mr. Booker put it back with a three-point answer. Hayward, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now here's Booker. He's got five. Screen by O'Neal. Just five on the clock. Phoenix calls timeout. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. It's tough to hide your communication. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. And a new group getting ready for the Suns. Bowl, he's checked in for Eubanks. Durant comes in for O'Neal. Roddy, he's checked in for Okogie. And it's Gordon in for Allen. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Lou Dort. That'll be a second foul of the game. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Durant inside. Gilgis Alexander defending. Dort against Booker. Here's Bowl. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Bowl's got 10. You know, we talk all the time about how important it is to have bigs who can stretch the floor. An example there. Here's Holmgren. Oh, it's blocked by Bull. Durant looking around. And Durant with the big finish. Yeah, Kevin Durant making you pay on the interior. Look out around the rim. Holmgren with a screen on Booker. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. Short shot is good. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Booker against Dort. Durant with a screen on Dort. Outside Durant. Durant puts some moves on. Here's Roddy, guarded by Hayward from the arc. Another three for Phoenix. This guy's mechanics are just pure. Kevin Durant, folks, turn the lights out if you allow him to get a three-point shot off. Tipped away. Kitty finds Gilgis Alexander for three. Bowl grabs the board. Bowl's got five rebounds in the game. And Booker has got the ball here for the Sun. Six-point game. Bowl screen on Gilgis Alexander. Booker. Booker flying in for the flush. I'll tell you, you let that guy get ahead of steam. Booker can finish at the rim with surprising power. Holmgren, the pass to Dort. 
Puts up a three, and a clear foul there as he shot the triple. And they stop the action here. They're using their coach's challenge to see if they can get this foul overturned. Lugan's court, taking three shots. People were worried that this would slow the action down. But with so many close calls in every game, the NBA was smart to adopt this challenge. The previous play is under the Coach has let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up and make the refs take another look. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And they've made their decision. The call the will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still peeved. Good from Dort. Lou Dort earned his way into the NBA because of what he brings on the defensive end. He is stout. He's not going to back away from a challenge. And now he's knocking down threes. Those players in high demand. Second half here. And we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Phoenix has gotten all three from downtown so far in the second half. Rejected by Holmgren. Oh, that's a big-time rejection from Chet Holmgren, making his defensive presence felt. And that bucket from beyond the arc puts them within reach. He's really been putting that shot to work. Yeah, and if he can stay hot from out there, his three-point shot could be the tool they use to win this game. That's what we call a power finish. There's no such thing as gentle for the big man. Durant against Hayward. Door to screen on bowl. Here's Holmgren going inside. And the big finish by Holmgren. And putting some power behind his drive. Holmgren managing to get there for an easy slam. Bowl to screen on Dort. Here's Booker. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Pass to Giddy. Back to Holmgren. And here's Gilgis Alexander. Booker defending. Gilgis Alexander attacking. It's Dort on the wing. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It goes on Bull Bull. Uh, to me, that's where the frame of Lou Dort helps, right? He's so big and strong from the guard position. He can take contact. The Suns have gone 7 of 10 here in the second half. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. One of the stories here, Kevin Durant. He's getting it done today. Well, guys, you have got to find a way to slow this man down. This is a great timeout. We've got 13 seconds left in the third quarter. Now here's Beal, tightly guarded. Here's Eubanks. Oh, and he hits it at the buzzer! Makes his selection just in time. Well done. Well, finishing quarter strong. Every coach preaches it. Nice work. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams... And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm Assist of the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. 
And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. Mark Dagnall had some words for his team over the last break. He told his guys to up their aggressiveness on the defensive end, saying this game is all about who can get stops right now. I need you guys to bring some more energy on defense. That's how we'll get this win, guys. Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Uh, Kogi and Durant, they're the forwards. Eric Gordon is out there with Devin Booker, and it's Bowl in at the five spot. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Now here's Booker. Pass to Durant. Gilgis Alexander with a steal. And up the court come the Thunder on the break. Dort's shot is good. Well, Luke Dort sprints the floor, taking advantage of good defense by his teammate to get an easy opportunity. Durant for three. They grab their own miss. Second chance effort. And that's just too close for KD. He finishes inside. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. First one falls for him. Well, this is a space you do not want to allow Gordon Hayward to get. He has been a lights-out free-throw shooter his entire career. Here's Giddy. About one minute played here in the fourth quarter. Dort outside. Screen by Holmgren. Dort finds Holmgren. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Booker. Oh, the Thunder tack on two more. Well, Shea Gilgis Alexander, that three level scoring ability, that time working the mid range. Booker surveying the D to the wing on the left. Here's Bowl. And a miss there on the triple. Thunder with a lead. And up the court come the Thunder on the break. Giddy passes to Holmgren. The three is up. Oh, the Thunder, another three. Now this is going to help Josh Giddy's game. Boy, the confidence will rise if he can make these catch and shoot opportunities. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Screen by Holmgren. Dort, the pass to Holmgren. To the inside. And the big finish by Holmgren. And you know, as a roller, Holmgren shows great hands, and he makes nice adjustments moving downhill. Booker with it. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. And Durant gets it to go. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Holmgren against Bull. Screened by Holmgren. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Boy, Shea Gilgis Alexander has become the master at drawing fouls. Shea Gilgis Alexander at the line for two. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Gilgis Alexander against Booker. What balance from Booker. Counts on you to deliver big buckets. It's another to take that responsibility and run with it. Go ahead, Mr. Booker. Gilgis Alexander from outside. That one's good. And it's Hayward with the setup. Gilgis Alexander's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. And Booker puts up a deep three. An absolute bomb from three point range. And that's a double double for him now. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Leading by five. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Back to Holmgren. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Look at Shea playing big inside. Well, pick and roll play from Shea Gilgis Alexander really starting to come along. And Booker gets double teamed. Pass to Bowl. Back to Booker. There's the three. 
Another three for Phoenix. And that's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? Oklahoma City has gone three for three from downtown in this fourth quarter. A minute six left to play in the fourth. Here's Gilchrist Alexander, and he gets it to go. He's 8 of 11 now. The quiet confidence, the ruthless execution. You need a big-time bucket. Shea is on time. Booker, pass the bowl. Yes! Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Here's Gilgis Alexander coming off a of Suns make. SGA showing off the athleticism there. There are so many ways Shea Gilgis Alexander can create for this offense. He's becoming one of the top scorers in the game. It falls! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! Oh my goodness, Booker's confidence is off the charts. He's money in the bank. And so they foul intentionally. There's 21 seconds left to play in the fourth. And now we've got an intentional foul. At the line for the fumble. Shea Gilgis Alexander. Taking two shots. First free throw is good, and that gives him a four-point cushion. And when you're a player like SGA, handling the ball late in crucial moments, you better get used to being at the line in big spots. Yeah, two-possession game now after knocking both of those down. To three, Booker, and he buries it. And he's brought them within two points now. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. 15 and he hits both free throws here, and it's a four-point ball game. You've got to show composure, and he comes through right when the team needs him most. Phoenix calls timeout. They're down by four. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Booker for three. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound.
the stakes here? Well, both teams want this one bad. And, and a chance to prove they're the dominant squad. I, I think it's going to get pretty heated at some point here tonight. And the Houston Rockets starting five. Thompson is out there with Tari Eason. And it's Smith. And it's Green. And it's Brooks in at the two. Here's Hayward. And Hayward. The stuff. Or keeping that ball tight like it's on a string. I love seeing Hayward get a little tricky with his handle and create for himself. Brooks with no one around. No good on the three. And you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide open look in space there. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Brooks against Hayward. Nice shot by Brooks. Oh, nice play from Brooks down in the paint. Not afraid to get physical on the inside. Here's Dort. Takes it off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on the <laughs> Not there. Rocketing off the deck. Thompson showing that youthful exuberance. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah, it was a tough couple years, but they had a plan in place and did it the right way. They made some smart signings and created a very balanced roster. For Houston, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. To the middle. Here's Thompson, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Gilgis Alexander. And with his movement skills, Thompson routinely catches defenders Thompson. out of position. Two shots. And so Thompson nails both of them. Well, Clark, we know they're a young team with plenty of room for improvement. What's the most important things you think for these Rockets to do? Well, first and foremost, they've really struggled with turnovers. They've got to squeeze the orange. I mean, it's hard to win if you're turning the ball over. I think it's a matter of being organized at the offensive end. Holmgren kicks to Dort. Just four to shoot. From past the arc. And the Thunder, another three. And the three-point shot wasn't always there for Dort. But he's put in a ton of work on it. And it shows. I tell you, he's playing the game with pure excitement right now. He kept off that dunk with some serious hang time on the rim. Yeah, just couldn't contain himself. Couldn't control himself there. Gilgis Alexander. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. The whole nice job there from Holbrook. His guys appreciate when they're open, he gets them the ball. And the shot goes down. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Hayward outside. A crossover, and Hayward at the stuff. Give Hayward the chance now. He's athletic. He's got bounce. He's going to finish with the big flush when he gets inside. Green kicks to Thompson. Houston moving it around. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Thompson's got six. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, that's how he rolls. I mean, intimidate the opponent right now. How about the floor awareness by Gilgis Alexander? Solid at just spotting his open teammate. Got a piece of it. Giddy with it. Now Green defending. Dort kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Houston. Great. Isn't it amazing the way Gilgis Alexander has polished off his game? The footwork, Kevin, is impeccable. Three-level score makes every shot imaginable. And what's scary, this guy still has another level to get to. Launches a three. Two free throws coming. And here we go with the coach's challenge. Not surprised in a competitive game like this. And he's disputing the personal foul call. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the previous play is under the make it a lot easier to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays. After review, the ruling on the floor stands. How fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes 
you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They have decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. But double checking, and the game continues on. And Holmgren possesses sky-high potential. His length and versatility making him such an intriguing prospect. And Thompson gets it to go. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Giddy finds Holmgren. Back to Giddy. And the layup falls. Giddy's got his second basket. Well, you love to see that. Holmgren keeping his eyes up and his options open. On the wing, Thompson. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. The shot by Thompson, no good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Nice shot by Thompson. Great dime that time by Smith Jr. there. You see the floor awareness really starting to improve. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. And so it's Oklahoma City with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. We've got more in store for you right after this. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Thunder. I really like how they're knifing inside with confidence, exploiting any openings they see in the defense, taking advantage. And something else that's working for them is ball movement. A lot of their points so far have come as a result of smart plays. So I'm... Four for Houston. Dylan Brooks out there with Green. Then there's Whitmore. Then it's Tari Eason. And it's Smith in at the five down low. Smith sets the pick for Brooks. With the drive. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. And he plays with swagger. Ed. And when Brooks makes plays like that, it just fuels his fire even more. Greg, there's been a scoring surge throughout the league. Is that due to poor defense, or is it to the rising talent level? Listen, teams are still defending, and the rules might have helped some. There is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing and holding. But these guys are scoring from all over the court and doing things we've just never seen before. And here's Brooks. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. Six-point game. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the OKC Thunder is still building, but is it fast enough for their all-star guard, Jay Gilgis Alexander? SGA says, I think we're going to be a really good team a lot sooner than people think. So it's pretty easy for me to be patient. I see the growth every day, and I'm super excited about it. Kevin? And we see it, too. Hey, David, thank you. Holmgren gets the bucket. And playing up tempo, pro-level ball can be hard for some guys, but Holmgren has easily made the transition. No coverage that time. Whitmore's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Now, something I like about Jalen Green, that, that ability to go vertical and just adjust midair. We call that great body control, partner, and you've seen guys over your time around the league where that's a special gift, and it really can make it hard for defenders. Green is excellent using that body and athleticism. Timeout called the Rockets. And a new group getting ready for Oklahoma City. Williams is checked in for Holmgren. Zhang comes in for Gordon Hayward. Williams is checked in for Josh Giddy. And Wallace subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Green. 
Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Van Vliet attacking. Good for the basket. Starting. Off one for one with that shot. And willing himself to the basket. Van Vliet has earned his spot in the NBA. This guy hard to deny. Jang inside. Eason on him. Williams a screen on Brooks. And it's Williams with the jam. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. And it goes down two points. Van Vliet's got four points now in the quarter. And unafraid to challenge the heart of this defense. Van Vliet's a strong finisher for his side. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Brooks with it. Williams picks him up. Here's Smith. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. That is huge for him. Smith needs to get points inside to open up that perimeter game for him. And he's got the size to do both. Eason against Jang. Williams. Smith with some nice D. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And the dunk by Eason. Eason. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. Williams. Rebound by Smith. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Houston moving it around. Smith sets the pick for Brooks. In the corner, it's Eason. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time. And so here is Houston, trailing by two. Van Vliet passes to Brooks. Shot clock at five. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Van Vliet picks one up. Who needs the NBA draft? I mean, Dort worked his way onto the team, into the rotation, and then turns into a key contributor. All free throws good from Dort. 109 left in the first half. Van Vliet deciding where to go with it. That one goes. Counted. Van Vliet's got six points. No defensive pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. Dort left side. Williams passes to Williams. Back to Williams. To the paint and it's Williams finishing it off and he might be small for a center but boy can he jump out of the building Smith with a screen on George that's it and the Oklahoma City lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Van Vliet the whole tricky play by Van Vliet to beat the close coverage slipping pass there for the finish six second difference between the shot and game clock Williams kicks to Wallace. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. We've got 13 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Van Vliet. Plays it up off the glass. He's got 10. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Williams for three. And the Thunder, another three. Out of bounds, Oklahoma City takes possession. Not a fan of those kinds of passes. It's taken away by Smith, and that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Thunder out in front, up five. And for 2K Sports, we'll be back here at Paycom Center right after this.
And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Really an incredible game from Gordon Hayward. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. We've got Hayward. Gilgis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. Then it's Lou Dortch. And it's Holmgren in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Well, this one has been all about Amin Thompson. A freakish athlete. When he gets rolled in, there's just not much a defender can do. An incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Memorable. Keep that one in the career highlight reel for sure. And yep, we thought we might see it. And the coach's challenge has been triggered on the personal foul call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough. Previous play is under the technology we've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now to challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for the ruling on the floor stands and so the word is in they've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor and you know even if a coach still feels this much the right call you gotta acknowledge the effort being put in to review it. The double checking and the game continues on. Williams is checked in for Dorch. Free throw good from Eason. No good on the second free throw. The Thunder leading by four. And now I send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrich. Thank you, Kevin. Josh Giddy is very capable off the dribble and at 6'8. He's starting to use his size to finish. Coach Mark Dagnall said he's definitely physical. Before, he was just trying to shoot over people, but now he's taking up space, using his size and strength. He's getting a lot more around the basket. Kevin? Yeah, he is getting into him. D.A., thank you. And he's good on the three ball. Holmgren's got 10 points. And with that threat of the outside jumper, Holmgren generates space for this offense. Green, the pass to Thompson. Back to Green. Driving in. Uses the glass to finish the lane. One of Green's primary attributes, speed. And when he combines that speed with staying under control, that's a problem. That's to Giddy. He kicks it to Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. And the dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Oh, how about the slam there? from Gilgis Alexander. He loves getting that type of positioning down low. Shots good by Green. And, and you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Outside Williams. And he drives in. Count the basket. And the Thunder lead by seven. Continues to develop his playmaking abilities. Gilgis Alexander is an unselfish team player. Here's Green, and the layup's good off the glass. He has six. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Here's Holmgren. Out to Hayward. He passes it to Gilgis Alexander. On the wing, Williams. Holmgren in the corner. And again, it's Oklahoma City. 
guys, this is what you call a generational talent. Holmgren is bound to fill up the highlight reel every night he plays. Two minutes remaining in the third. Brooks against Hayward. It's good, and the Thunder lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Brooks. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. No question about it. I mean, these teams are really battling hard now. Holmgren with a screen on Brooks. And a wide-open look for Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Now a timeout called by Houston. First two fouls. And the Thunder making a switch here. Dort's checked in. Tari Eason's checked in for Houston. Aaron Holiday comes in for Brooks. 133 left in the third quarter of the game. Rockets trail by five. The drive by Thompson, and it's Thompson with the jam. Tenacious on the attack. Thompson is fantastic at finding lanes to the basket. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Thompson against Giddy. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Giddy. One oh seven left in the third. Executing to perfection right now offensively. I mean, in total sake, good luck trying to stop him now. Shots good by Green. Hey, this team has great confidence in Green's ability to connect from deep. It's really about getting him quality looks. Here's Holmgren. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Holmgren's got nine points now in just the second half. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Green. That is his first foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Count that one for Dort. And now a five-point Thunder lead. Obviously, Dort wants to be a dependable option offensively. And he's put in the work to make that happen. On the wing, Green, defended by Dort. The three, and it's Green missing. The Thunder leading by five, and he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly logical. <laughs> How about pointless to foul there? I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. Timeout call for Rockets. <laughs> And the first one drops. All three throws good from George. Rockets trail by seven. Whitmore with it. Looking to end the run. It's rebounded by Giddy. Time call here of the Thunder decides to talk it over. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Now here's Holmgren from the arm. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. And stolen by Easton. And so it's Chet Holmgren making things happen for Oklahoma City. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. 
here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. It's a 10-point game. Fourth quarter on the court for the Rockets. Tory Easton is out there with Thompson. And it's Green, and it's Smith, and it's Brooks and at the shooting guard position. Wasted no time on that one. Giddy's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Thunder. And stolen by Giddy. Holmgren in the high post. Hayward passes to Dort. And the shot is good. And the Thunder lead by 15. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. You have to avoid fouls like that. As a defender, challenge the three-point shooter, but run by him, not into him. Good on the second free throw. Hey, it's hard not to gush about Green. I mean, he's one of the more exciting talents to enter this league in, in quite some time. The Thunder leading by 12. Now, Gilgis Alexander. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Thunder. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game, no doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. And on top of that, they're getting a lot of points off assists. And it's always a good sign when your team is working as a cohesive unit. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Hayward outside, down to five on the shot clock. Free throw line, jump shot, and there's Gilgis Alexander. That's good on the assist by Hayward. Well done by Hayward on the assist that time. He's able to spot a wide open teammate because he plays with his head up. Shot by Easton, no good to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Thompson against Gilgis Alexander. And the pass to Holmgren. Stolen by Brooks. Here we go. One on one. And it's Thompson with the jam. And he's got rocket ship like takeoff. Thompson can flat out fly. Gilgis Alexander against Brooks. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Giddy. Good D by Thompson. Rockets trail by 13. To the inside, Eason. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his team. And the jump by Holmgren. And attacking the rim. Holmgren making excellent use of that height inside. For three, Smith. And it's Shea Gilgis Alexander with the rebound. The Thunder leading by 13. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Here's Holmgren. And he makes good on the way. Holmgren's got four this quarter. I mean, length and skill. And Holmgren has a lot of both. Green drives in. Nice defense from George. For Oklahoma City, they've gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Green against Giddy. Just five on the clock. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That free throw, no good. At the line for your thunder, Josh Giddy. And he sinks the second. Rockets trail by 16. Green with the ball. He's picked up by Gilgis Alexander. Green kicks to Brooks. Floats one, two points, that one goes. And that's 11 points for Brooks. An underrated part of Green's game is the ability to see the floor and make his teammates better. Hayward against Easton. 
107 left in the game. Hayward can hit. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. They trail by 14. A really solid victory for them here tonight. They kept things simple, took what the defense gave them, and grabbed the win for the Thunder. They found a great rhythm from long range. Yeah, Kevin, every time they left a man open deep, it, he'd get a good shot at the basket. Didn't hesitate, and that aggression paid off. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Jed Holmgren. Well, the defense just couldn't figure him out, and he continued to put it to him. So it's the Rockets now. Green kicks to Brooks. And some nice passing there by Houston. And it's Smith missing. Brooks against Gilgis Alexander. Hayward outside. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Holmgren with a screen on Thompson. Hayward finds Holmgren. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. And the Thunder lead by 14. Here's Eason. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Good read from Green there. Getting better at sensing when his teammates are wide open and need the ball. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander.
tonight. Two teams that prefer to operate in the half court. Look, it might not be fast paced, but there's a lot to like about this contest. We're going to see a bunch of creative sets. These coaches love of going to work on the clipboard. Now the opening lineup for the Los Angeles Clippers. Kawhi Leonard out there with Daniel Tice. Then it's Terrence. Oh, oh yes. Oh, Throw it down. Oh, that is a dunk contest worthy move. Green just putting on a show right there. Tice passes to Leonard. Tice sets a screen. Outside Harden. Pass to George. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Don't you forget, Harden's won an assist title now. This man can pass that rock. And so it's Green who brings up the ball for the Rockets. And it's hammered home by Green. It's like he's doing pull-ups on the rim. Looked like a schoolyard playground right there. Richard taking a look at Jalen Green's career so far. He's certainly not bashful shooting the ball. No, and I think it's because his coaches and teammates want him to be confident, B.A., because once he gets a few to fall, man, this man becomes very dangerous. Down to five on the shot clock. The Clippers got to hurry. Late clock here. And that one drops for him. And it's not always Leonard's forte, but he's really developed a solid passing game. Green, the pass to Smith. And that one, good. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Tice with the ball. Guarded by Smith. Pass to Mann. Back to Tice. Harden scanning the floor. Shoots over Thompson. Harden misses. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. Down low. Oh, George with a steal. Oh, and the fast break for the Clippers. Oh, there's the alley. Oh, and Leonard throws it down. And communication made that play. Leonard just reads his teammate. Oh, oh my gracious. Wow. Just incredible. That is a monster finish. That's unreal. I mean, Thompson, that boy's going to hit his head on the rim one day. Oh. Out to Leonard. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Here's Thompson. Yes, it's good. We see a taste of Thompson's ridiculous athleticism, keeping his body under control while taking a hit. Up top, Harden. Defended by Thompson. Harden, good. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. And Brooks has got the ball here for the Rockets. Eason finds Smith. Back to Brooks. Eason a screen on George. Brooks drives in. Pass to Smith. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to go on Paul George. You have to respect Brooks' approach to the game. He's always looking for little ways to improve and wants every year to be his best. And the Clippers making a change here. Westbrook's checked in. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. And Richard, this summer, the Rockets hitting fast forward on their rebuild, signing some key veterans. Headlined by all-star point guard Fred Van Vliet. He was a coveted free agent. Listen, with their upcoming draft pick not under their control, I think the front office figure may as well go after wins now. Westbrook against Green. Over to the left wing. For three, Smith. Two shots, two makes. Off to a good start. You love seeing Smith Jr. be assertive off the catch. Great shot. Westbrook outside. Pass to man. From behind the arc. Smith with the rebound. For Houston, they've got all six shots to fall in the first. Green against Westbrook. Left side, Green. Back to Smith. From deep. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got his fifth assist in this one. He fits right into this next generation of power forwards. Smith, look, he is comfortable at any range. Kicks it to George. 
wingman. Brooks against Leonard. To the paint. Here's Tice. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Picked by Smith. On the attack, Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Using that speed, Green flying by on the drive. And Tice with the bucket. The assist by Leonard. Leonard's got three assists in the game. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Yep. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Rockets. Oh, boy, they've been driving deep into that defense early on, and it's paid off. Great penetration from the perimeter so far. And the other thing you notice is how determined they've been to get into the paint and get buckets around the rim. So here are the five for the Clippers to start the second. Westbrook and George manning the backcourt. Kawhi Leonard out there with P.J. Tucker, and it's man in at the three. Outside Tucker, beyond the arc, and no good. Houston in the lead, Thompson outside. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Thompson's got six. You see there, Thompson does a good job of sneaking into the lane and finishing. They get the rebound. Smith with it, he's picked up by Westbrook. Smith right side. There's the triple. He buries it from three. 11 points in the game. Well, one thing you can say about Jabari Smith is that he is very comfortable shooting from the corner. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Three Fred Van Vliet went from undrafted to an NBA All-Star. He said, quote, individually, there's still a lot left I want to get done. But trying to chase that next championship is what I'm locked in on. That feeling trumps anything I've ever done in my life. Besides my kids, that's right up there as far as personal journeys and accomplishments. Brian? He's got it in the right order. Thanks, Allie. George passes to Leonard. To the middle. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Let's go with a three. And the Clippers hit again from deep. Just good basketball IQ there by Westbrook, using the pick and roll to create an opening. Smith with a screen on Westbrook. Van Vliet. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Van Vliet's got his first two points. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Leonard with the ball. Van Vliet covering. Leonard with a screen on Van Vliet. Offensive rebound. Outside Tucker. Back to Leonard. Big time make from Leonard. Well, the saying is defense wins championships. But in this day and age, don't you need both? No question, B.A., you definitely do. I mean, we've seen plenty of great defenses flame out in the playoffs because they couldn't put up points. Defense alone isn't enough. You need a balance. And there's the call on Tari Eason. That's his first foul of the game. For the Clippers, Tice is checked in for Leonard. Coffey comes in for Mann. And it's Harden in for Russell Westbrook. Harden fires away from outside. Smith with the rebound. And here's Van Vliet. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. Two minutes remaining in the first half. And that makes it three for four. He's looking good. Well, Van Vliet likes to work up close and personal at the basket. Always ready to take it inside. Harden finds Tucker. And now we have an intentional foul. I'm not sure why. Yeah, bizarre play, B.A. Not sure what got into him. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Whitmore's checked in for the Rockets. Holiday comes in for Brooks. Here's Harden. Launches it. Tice a screen on Holiday. For three, George. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. You're capable of shooting 40% from deep for a season. Paul George is steady from downtown. And the Rockets tack on two more. 
And the Clippers have possession. It's a 10-point game. Harden, the pass to Tice. Driving to the basket. And finished off by Tice. The list of guys who have led the league in points and assists, well, it's a short one. That includes James Harden, LeBron, Wilt, Oscar, amongst others. And it's Whitmore missing. Los Angeles has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Here's Harden. And it goes. And coach doesn't like the call at all. He's opting to use his challenge. He wants the officials to look at the replay. And even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen so many of these personal foul calls still. In for the Clippers, number five. There's going to be a gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look. So the officials can be sure they get it right. After review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So they see clear evidence of a bad call, and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. Here's Whitmore. Yet to see a basket. He takes it in. Oh! oh threw it oh, down! Oh, wow! Boom! Boom! He jams it straight down. Yes, slashing toward the hoop. Whitmore not hesitating when he sees an opportunity. A dynamic finish then decides to hang out a little for good measure. <laughs> yep, that's the exclamation point right there. Holiday against Harden. Holiday passes to Smith. What I like about Smith is that he impacts the game whether he is scoring or not. Foul. First team foul. And he knocks down the first one. Harden Houston. Jabari Smith. Two shots. And he makes both free throws. There's 18 seconds left in the second. Harden against Van Vliet. Pass to Tucker. Driving inside. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got three assists in the game. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Timeout called. Houston. Substitution on the board. Here's Easton. And so it's the Houston Rockets with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. We'll be right back. Fans, put your hands together and get loud for Red Panda! Fans, and after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one. As both teams trying to gain an edge. The Clippers trail. Aaron Holiday out there with Fred Van Vliet. Then it's Tari Eason. Then there's Whitmore. And it's Tate in at the small forward position. And that's the group for Ime Udoka as we begin the second half. Leonard. Oh, nice sequence from Leonard. Oh, that's just classic Kawhi Leonard. The effort, the board, the points, all of them. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. The Clippers grab the miss. Highland with it. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Spins. Inside. Oh, I slam! Wow! Oh, a fantastic score. Kawhi can put a barrage of points up quick. Harden against Van Vliet. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, He's taking it right to the rim. What imagines that might be discussed at halftime? That's going to be on the film. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Brooks is checked in. Pass to Tucker. And if you're just joining us, we play just over a minute here in the third. Harden, the pass to Leonard. Six to shoot. Back to Harden. 
Over Van Vliet. And Harden gets it to go on the assist by Leonard. Leonard's got his fourth assist in this one. Recently, James Harden has brought renewed focus to his playmaking, Richard. Make no mistake, B.A., he's still a gifted scorer. But, yeah, he's been facilitating way more, leading the league in assists, just reminding everybody how cunning his game is that he can beat you with his passing. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Outside, Highland. Back to Harden. On the wing, man. Sure, from three-point range. Man's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Here's Brooks. And that one is stuffed right through. And what a drive from Brooks. Just carving through the defense like me on the slopes in Aspen. Harden against Van Vliet. Harden, the pass to Tucker. Pass to Highland. Leonard on the wing. 13 points in the game. Shoots. Highland misses. Got a good look there, but just not able to hit from the mid-range. Harden against Van Vliet. Drives to the hoop. Uses the glass on the layup. And it's a six-point rocket lead. And when Van Vliet kicks it up a notch, get out of his way. Keep letting him do his thing. And an intentional foul right there. So for the Rockets, Smith comes in for Eason. And Jalen Green subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. Tice is checked in for Los Angeles. Paul George comes in for Harden. Drills it from deep. Tucker's got five. And when you look at the numbers over the last few years, it's clear that George has made a jump as a playmaker. Green, the pass to Brooks. That comes off the assist by Green. Green's got six assists now in the game. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Outside Tucker. Highland against Green. Pass to George. Back to Highland. Here's Tucker. George outside. Over Brooks. George's shot is off. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Up top, Brooks. And the Rockets hit again from deep. A sometimes underrated playmaker. Green showing good patience and vision. Here's man. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Green, the pass to Smith. And down it goes. Dumped it through off a beautiful setup. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Here's Tice. Pass to Tucker. And there's a three-second violation. That's a costly error. Well, let's see how they bounce back. Well, they don't have time to dwell on that. They just need to learn from their mistakes and move forward. Next play. Thompson, he's checked in for Tate. Leonard's checked in for the Clippers. Russell Westbrook comes in for Highland. Green against Westbrook. Smith with a screen on Westbrook. Let's the three fly. Smith no good. Los Angeles has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Leonard's shot's good. Pretty incredible just how great a shooter Kawhi has become. Really one of the best in the league. Green to the rack. Missed inside. Had enough room to finish, and that's one he'll usually make. Leonard for three. No good on the buzzer beater. Look, that's some great defense from Smith. He can be a top-level defender. And so it's Houston up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team back after this. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. James Harden out there with George. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Amir Coffey. And it's Tice in at the five, roaming the paint. This is what Green loves to do. Getting strong positioning inside and going to work. Leonard with a screen on Thompson. Leonard outside. Down low. Tice. And finish 
finished off by Tice. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stop down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. And sends it home with some passion. I think he's rubbing it in a little bit here, hanging up there like that. And he's going for the oop here. And finished off by Tice. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Smith with a screen on George. Brooks the pass to Smith. Here's Green. Defended by Harden. On the attack. Oh, that is powerful. Oh, yes. You don't want to jump with Jalen Green. That's rule number one. And rule number two, you don't want to jump with Jalen Green. Leonard passes to Coffey. We've gone about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter. Leonard. Oh, Brooks with the steal. Here's the break. Thompson with it. Started now by George. Throw it down on the lob. Already an intelligent playmaker, Thompson moves the ball well for a rookie. Thompson against Harden. Pass to Coffey. George with it. Takes the three. Hits the trifecta. And you see the creativity George has. Just comfortable operating and screening rolls and taking what he sees. And the call will be against James Harden. That'll be a second foul of the game. Eason's checked in for the Rockets. Gene Tucker's checked in for Los Angeles. Man comes in for coffee. Tipped. Here's Smith. That one drops for him. And the Rockets lead by 11. Tonight has been all about Jabari Smith. His size, his shooting, it just gives them fits. Back to Tucker. Outside for Harden. It's in there. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Houston has gotten seven of 12 three-point attempts to fall. Green, the pass to Brooks. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Back to George. Three-pointer. Oh, and another three from the Clippers. Such a pure score. If George finds his shot, it's almost as good as in. Here's Green. Green rising up. And the slam was so good. But the dribble move he made to get there was a thing of beauty. Absolutely. What a slick play. Back to Harden. Tucker with a screen on Thompson. Harden from outside. Gets the three ball to go. This is what we've come to expect from Harden. Doesn't back down from taking the important shot to the game. Green against Harden. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Rockets. Uh, they're moving the ball around so well, guys. Quick passes, letting the next guy do the work if you don't have a look. One other thing they've done very well has been scoring inside. Just pounding and grinding down there. Sinks it from distance. Harden's got eight here in this quarter. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. But it took them a little while to get there. Just goes to show as long as you persevere, you'll figure your way out. There are guys that will take that shot, and there are guys that will make that shot. Green is one of those guys that will make that bucket. Pass to Tucker. The ball's knocked loose, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Smith. Van Vliet's checked in for Green. Number five, Fred Van Vliet. Leonard looking around to the inside. Tucker. Money. What a beautiful this shot. Brings him within three. This is the next step for Leonard. Becoming a better distributor. Times like these help his cause. Harden against Van Vliet. Pass to Thompson. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Leonard. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. 
Tucker. Leonard with a screen on Easton. And he commits the intentional foul. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Nineteen seconds left in the game. Pass to man. Shot clock at five. Money! Talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. And so they foul intentionally. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. He gets the first, and that'll put him up two. And this is who they want at the line. This team trusts Van Vliet to come up big. And so both free throws good. And it's a three-point game. The last make was huge. Now, realistically, the worst-case scenario for them is OT. And that's an intentional foul. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And if I'm the defense, this isn't who I want to foul. Harden is more than happy to march to the stripe in these moments. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. He drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And the big X factor Van Vliet brings to the team is leadership. He's very talented at setting a good tone out on the floor and organizing.
Lakers big. backcourts tonight, and this is probably the kind of game that suits your taste. Am I right? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, Kevin. This game is going to come down to guard play. It's not just about the backcourt scoring. It's just as much about that strong perimeter defense. Here are the five for the Clippers. We've got Kawhi Leonard. George is out there with Hart. Then there's Daniel Tice. And it's man in at the three, the small forward. Harden with it. Ogden picks him up. Tice with a screen on Brogdon. Here's George. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. It's a sweet shot by George. So talented as a shooter. And Simons has got the ball here for Portland. Kicks to Grant. to the lane and the dunk by Grant. That's what he does when he drives to the hoop. Look out. And it's the Clippers ball. So Brent, with the end of the 2023 season, it saw the Blazers finishing 13th in the West. Yeah, Kevin, that's the second straight year that he had been in that 13th place. And certainly that's not the type of consistency this team is looking for. They're in between. They've got veteran players and young guys coming up. They've got to do something to feed one end of that, and we'll see what they do this year. Nobody near Leonard. Tice kicks to Leonard. The rebound by Grant. Pass to Simon. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Well, Simon's known for a guy who can really get it going from behind the line, and he can do some damage. He's got length and vertical ability from him. Now, here's George. And Leonard has it in the corner. Up and in, it's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. Kawhi like a, a robot out there, just shrugging off the contact. Beep, boop, pop, pop. It's good. Only a Come few on, seconds Leonard. into the shot clock. Leonard's got his second button. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. And it's George missing. Trailblazers have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And the slam dunk by Simon. The guard rising up, Simons, with some thunder of his own. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. It's George on the wing, defended by Thibel. George dishes to Hart. Passes it to Mann. Puts up a deep three. They get it back. Outside for George. Second shot opportunity. Yes, that goes in. See how comfortable and patient Paul George is inside. Feels like nobody's going to get to that shot. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. Here are your Blazer dancers. A different look now for Portland. Robert Williams comes in for DeAndre Ayton. And it's Sharp in for Anthony Simon. Inside, Sharp. Paul George grabs the miss. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. Hey, Brent, when you look at Shaden Sharp, he has shown flashes of being a great offensive player, hasn't he? Well, he's got all the tools, Kevin, to be a superstar. His development is going to take some time. He essentially went from high school straight to the Fair NBA fair. after redshirting one year in college and not playing first one team. minute. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Zubox is checked in for Daniel Tice. Los Angeles has gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Man passes to George. Here's Man. They set the screen. Leonard, no luck. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can still afford to give a guy like him that good a look. 
good pass from the two guard sharp solid at finding his open man here's Harden after the Trailblazers pick up two George with the screen on Brogdon Harden kicks to George back to Harden but Trey right wing here's man hits the three point bomb and nice three dime points. from Zubats. his floor awareness is solid Portland. now a timeout, timeout. called by Portland Get loud, fans of the court is your high squad. A different look now for Portland. Andre Ayton's checked in for Williams. Murray comes in for Grant. And it's Simons in for Malcolm Brogdon. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Daniel Tice is checked in for Zubox. P.J. Tucker comes in for Leonard. Amir Coffey is checked in for Mann. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for James Harden. Here's Westbrook. Oh, and the jam by Westbrook. Love it. Russell Westbrook, full attack mode right now and taking no prisoners. And Simons. Oh! Wow. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Time out, time Just out. a matter of who can catch that moment. And the Clippers decide to take their first timeout here. Who'd like a free teacher tonight? Second attempt there. What a performance from Anthony Simon. He has been the score. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Trailblazers. A, a lot of high motor play from them in this one. A allowing them to kind of charge through the defense and find good looks. Getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. And Bernie Simons out there with Sharp. Then there's Murray. Then there's Jeremy Grant. And it's Aiton in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. They're the group that Portland Trailblazers will start the second quarter with. And here is Los Angeles now. Portland making their last shot. Leonard with the ball. And Simons picks him up defensively. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. He talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise, keeping everybody on their toes. And that one's good, Leonard. And one of the unwritten rules of team play, Brent, don't throw your teammate a grenade. What are those? Well, I got a lot of those in my years in Seattle, and I won't mention his name, but the initials were Gary Payton. Look, the shot clock's winding down. You're standing open. And the guard just gives it to you with 1.5 seconds to go. And you got to shoot the ball. So those are called live grenades, Kevin. And so here are the Clippers. Portland knocked you down that triple moments ago. And on the drive, Harden just so tricky to guard. No one wants to risk handing him a foul. Aiden. Beautiful dish. And the layup goes down. And they repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Harden against Murray. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And what's remarkable is how complete Harden's game is. Making shots or making passes, he can create points in a number of ways. And Portland making a change here. Ogden's checked in. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Amir Coffey's checked in for Terrence Mann. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. And Aiton throws it down. And Grant with a nice heads-up play, willing to make the next pass. For Los Angeles, they've gone a perfect 4 of 4 since the second quarter began. Perfect from the field. And taking a look at the L.A. Clippers, Brent, a team that just keeps coming up short. Unfortunately, 
Well, the Clippers have definitely been more competitive lately, and it's kind of like phase two for them with this group. They still haven't been able to get over the hump, and they have some work to do. Here's Grant shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. It's on Kawhi Leonard. First team Grant, foul. a great job there of going into contact and shying away. At the beginning of his career, Grant Grant was more of a role-playing forward. Those days, though, are long gone. And no question, he just about tripled his shot attempts per game, leading to more and more points. Has even developed that three ball to become a multi-level scorer. Now, here's Grant. He has seven. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. I uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Here's Brogdon, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You know, Greg, the way Malcolm Brogdon is used in the catch-and-shoot game it makes that offense very difficult to stop. Well, he's a high-percentage shooter, doesn't go through many ups and downs, and when he doesn't have the look he wants, he's willing to get off the ball. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers, Ivica Zubac has checked in for Daniel Tice, and it's P.J. Tucker in for Kawhi Leonard. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Now, here's Aiton. And it's good for two. Aiton's got six. Well, again, with that kind of size, DeAndre Aiton is going to draw some fouls and does not shy away from contact. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Clippers have their sights set high. Coach Tomon Lu says this is definitely a championship season. It's not going to just come. We've got to put the work in. There's got to be a lot of sacrifices. If we come together and do the right things, we definitely have a chance. Kevin, back to you. And David, he's a big reason why. Thanks so much. Matisse Thibel checked in for Anferni Simon. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. And checked in to the middle. Here's Hayton. It's hauled in by the Clippers. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he laid it straight up and in. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Well, Brent, with the Blazers, it seemed like they were ready to take the next step a few years back. Yeah, and then it felt like things sort of shifted in the opposite direction and trying to find out through injuries and defensive struggles, who is it that is going to help this team make that next step? And Tucker's showing you he's still got the ability to get to the rim. Grant finds a... It's rebounded by Tice. The Clippers have gone 8 of 9 in the second quarter. Very nearly perfect from the field. He was all alone on that one. Harden's got the lead up to 5 now for Los Angeles. Here's Aiton. No good again that time. And here's Los Angeles. High point lead, the biggest of the game. Wide open. Almost, but it rolls out. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for Portland. The putback, great positioning on the putback. Defense unable to stop DeAndre Ayton that time getting inside and using his frame. He's shooting free throws, number four and five here. Third team First free throw is good. Leonard, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Two shots. And both free throws good for James Harden. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Who wants to update their fit tonight with a free T-shirt? Make a little noise. So for the Clippers, for Super Box is checked in for Daniel Tice. Paul George comes in for Bones Highland. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for James Harden. And it's Williams with the jam. Simon's playing unselfish. That's going to help this team get in a great rhythm. 
And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, again, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. Right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. And Russell Westbrook drops them both. Russell Westbrook just out there and focused, trying to find ways in which he can help out his team to secure any win. Simons, the pass to Williams. One second left. Oh, and the jam by Williams. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man, and he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. James Harden getting it done for the Clippers. The quarter had to take a lot out of him. Hit by Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow. Right here on 2K Sports. And let's hear it for Red Panda. Let's give a round of applause. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. One of the stories here, and Bernie Simons getting it done today. Really impressed with the shot selection through the first half, just taking what he can get from the defense. Yeah, I'm thinking back to the first half. I'm wondering, did he take a low percentage shot? Everything efficient. So for the Clippers right now, we've got George. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Daniel Tice. Then it's Harden, and it's Mann in at the three. Lock at six. Here's Tice. He converts on the jumper for the easy two. Tice has got the first basket of the third quarter for Los Angeles. Good on that shot, and with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Sharp. Yeah, just a gutsy play from Sharp as he goes inside and absorbs all the contact. To the paint, here's Tice. Sweet little floater. Tice has got six points. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. Grant with a screen on George. Here's Sharp. Off target from outside. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. And really the story of this second half, one team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. Now this team did something in halftime going from a mild-mannered half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. Mono Imano. This is where it can get a little personal. Yeah, again, you can't take this too far to make it too selfish, but that exchange, that's fun to watch. And this is hard especially. One of the best in the league at drawing contact and yet still able to convert. Simons, he's checked in for Portland. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Williams sets a screen for Simon. He takes it in. Well, you got to find ways to keep feeding Anthony Simons. Right now, this guy is on fight. Here's Harden. The layup off target. Trailblazers trail by six. And foul call. Looks like they had a clear path to the basket. He'll be shooting two free throws. And they'll retain possession. Portland may have shot 75% of the line tonight going three for four. And they had a lot of success a season ago as a team hitting about 80% of their free throws. Simon's showing he can be a capable scorer, but there's still some potential upside with his playmaking. This guy is growing in his confidence. Murray's checked in for Grant. And the Clippers with a change here, too. Westbrook's checked in. Really heads up there. A play where you locate the best open pass, and then you get it there for an easy bucket. Second team foul. Here's Mann, covered by Simon. Man passes to Leonard. And the shot goes in. Kawhi Leonard. Leonard's got eight. And you know he's so good coming off the pick and roll, but what do you have to take away? There's so many ways Leonard can hurt you offensively. A two-time finals MVP, Kawhi Leonard. And Brent, he's shown he can dominate at the highest of levels. 
And when he dominates, he dominates every facet of the game. At his peak, Kawhi is one of the most impactful players this game has ever seen. Brogdon just has a great feel as to when he should shoot it. Most of the time, it's in rhythm and within the offense. Here's Westbrook, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Six points for him. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball. It's two the minutes in the third. Two minutes. Simons surveying the D. Ball stolen. And now the fast break. Westbrook with the ball. Portland foul. And Los Angeles with some changes. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for London. And Amir Coffey is subbed in for Terrence Mann. P.J. Tucker, Amir Coffey. A minute 42 left in the third quarter. Westbrook against Murray. Five to shoot. Tucker, the pass to Zubats. Drives to the hoop. Ice D from Williams. And it's Williams with the ball for the Portland Trailblazers. It's a three-point game. And we have an intentional foul there, GA. I uh, wish I could see why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. Jaden Sharps jets in for the Trailblazers. The Clippers have been a perfect 8 of 8 at the line. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. And he knocks down the first one. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line, not missing their chances when they get them. Andre Ayton's checked in for the Trailblazers. Scoot Anderson comes in for Malcolm Brockett. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Bones Highland is checked in for George. And the big guy going up and trying to rip that rim off. Westbrook kicks to Zubats. Henderson against Westbrook. Fires from deep. Zubats controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Aiton dishes to Henderson. Back to Aiton. And Aiton throws it down. And the way Henderson found a window to drop in that pass is what could make him special in this league. And there's the call on DeAndre. Second personal foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. And he makes the first. Daniel Tice is checked in for Zubats. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Scoot Henderson became the youngest G League player ever in 2021. Greg, he was only 17 then. And Kevin really speaks to his abilities that he was ready for that near NBA level of competition at such an early age. Sharp still trying to find some comfort and familiarity at the free throw line. Sometimes it takes some young guys longer. Los Angeles making a switch here. Harden's checked in. We've got 28 seconds left here in the third quarter. Down low, here's Tice, and he banks in the lane. Tice has got six in the quarter. Tucker, great job reading the floor and finding a way to set up a ready shooter. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And you could tell they had that play ready to go. Well done on the inbound. Leonard, he's checked in for the Clippers. Mann comes in for Amir Coffey. And he throws it down. Aiden just swallowing up the defender there and then completes the play. Driving inside. Leonard sets a screen for Harden. Knocks down the three ball. James Harden. Harden's got 18 points in the game. Ripped away. Highland with it. Tice sets a screen for Highland. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And that's it for the third. Quarter, both teams scoring well as we head to the and a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game and definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard, pass right on the money. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create, freeing everybody up, and that cut was wide open. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. 
Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Chauncey Phillips coaching up his team during that break. We wouldn't know they were down from what he was talking about. He was positive with the team. He was calm. He said he wanted to keep them focused. It's a pretty good approach, guys. Back to you. Thank you, David. I've been out there with Anthony Simon. Then there's Eaton. Then it's Sharp, and it's Grant in at the power forward. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. And they go to the intentional foul. Trailblazers making a switch here. First, Eibel checked in. First team foul. Now the last shot by Rodman wide open. And another three for Portland. Everything in sync right now for Brogdon. Nice base, good timing, good release. Tice with the screen on Brogdon. It's Harden with the drive. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. Uh, and that was the right call. When, when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but gets close. He's getting the ball. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. First team foul. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Tice with a screen on Brogdon. Harden from down in the low post. It goes. Harden's got 12 points here in the second half. And then for Harden, finishing through contact is just part of the job description. He gets bodied up almost every time he takes it inside. Cutting into that deficit now, well within striking distance. Well, just much sharper out there. You can see guys getting in tune. It's not about playing harder. Sometimes it's just about playing smarter. Harden finds George. One thing you marvel at, the consistency of Paul George, year in and year out. I wonder when Paul George Gray goes into the offseason, if it's more tinkering and sharpening all those skills, or if he's trying to add some things. I don't know how you add anything to how versatile a player he is. Russell Westbrook's checked in for the Clippers. And Paul George entering the league in 2010. I mean, he's been as good as any two-way wing in the league, cementing himself as an all-NBA level player. Tice with a screen on Grant. The shot by George, wide open. Pins the shot with nobody near him. George has got the game tied up here for Los Angeles. Simon from outside. And the Trailblazers, another three. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here, guys. In good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Oh, you could see it from the moment he caught the ball. Leonard looking to rise to the occasion, making the big shot to help the team out. And he commits the intentional foul. Second personal foul. Second team foul. For three, Brockton. Bible, the pass to Ayton. And it's blocked. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. The kick out to Westbrook. Two the dish to left. Two minutes. All sorts of time. The rebound by Grant. That's a shocker there. Did not expect him to miss from that range. He's got to be shooting close to 60% from that. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg, I'm not sure. There's some confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. James Harden, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. Here's Simon. And the slam dunk by Simon. And it's crucial, but Simons takes that responsibility and gets it done. Harden scanning the floor. Pass to Tice. Back to Harden. Launches it from deep. Outside for George. A second chance effort. And that's two points on the late goal. George has got nine points here in the second half. Yeah, Paul George sharpening his swords now. Love to see him take that shot. And an intentional foul right there. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Blazers. I like to 
this throwback approach they've taken, looking to score high percentage shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. You want to talk about ball distribution? They've been dominating that aspect of the game. I think there's a bunch of bankers out there. And here we go. A coach's challenge has been initiated. To now review the personal foul in question. And this is the time now where the officials get reviewing. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that. speed at which these players are moving and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes you know, break it to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to review it. The double checking and the game continues on. Well, it feels like you've seen Kawhi in these situations from the beginning of his career. No stranger to being at the line in close game. Brogdon finds Simon. Back to Brogdon. Williams has a screen for Simon. It's rebounded by Tice. How hard... There's 25 seconds left in the fourth. George dishes to Leonard. Back to George. Five on the clock, and it's Tice in the corner. It goes! Remember that one, guys. A difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? And that's just great work there to get in the shooting space and then go and corral that backboard. Yeah, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those five seconds away. Right on the first, and that will put them up by two. In terms of two-way players, Kawhi has to be one of the guys that you would consider as one of the elites. Defensive player of the year caliber guy on the wing can also carry you offensively. seconds left to play here in the fourth and that's an intentional foul really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that you know maybe there's some bad blood between those two well simons can produce and he does it in bunches can he do it in big moments here's a chance you have to foul but i'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different so he goes two for two at the one and it's a four-point ball game Ooh, I think that's a wrap, and I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. And Simon's saying, bring it on, I got this, and more.
the rock, Graham. We should see a lot of ball movement tonight. Hey, sharing is caring. And of course, there's great chemistry on both teams. There's such a flow to this game when they get together. And we're going to see some terrific team basketball tonight. I can't wait. So here's Portland's starting group. Simons and Thibel are the two wings. Jeremy Grant out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Brogdon in at the point guard position. Now here's Durant. And finished off by Bull. Selfless play by Durant. Not trying to do everything by himself out there. Simons against Booker. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Now here's Bowl. It's Booker on the wing. He's covered by Aiden. Booker, pass to Bowl. And finished off by Bowl. Yeah, great awareness there from Booker. A selfless team first player. Well, Smitty, Portland had that streak of eight straight playoff appearances. Now they've missed out two years in a row. It's a talented GA, but frustrated group in Portland. But you know what? They'll be back. Defensively, you have to stay connected to them on the perimeter. Grant. Oh, denied by Durant. The wingspan of KD makes it so easy for him to get to shots like that. Tries yet again. Brogdon from outside. Count it. One for one to start the game. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Here's Durant. And Durant with the big finish. When KD goes up, there's no way to stop him. And here's Grant from the arc. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. Not just a knockdown shooter, he does a great job of finding space for his shot. Outside Durant. Back to Booker. Durant with a screen on Tybal to the paint. And Durant with the big finish. One of the best in the business. Durant in the flow. Loves to work off the screen and roll. Oh, got that one up quick. Simon's got five. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. What? Wait. Hey, dunks are always for the big boy. <laughs> Emphatic move by the point guard. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. He almost brought the basket down on top of himself. Oh, there's hang time, and then there's a time to hang. Gordon on the wing. Durant with a screen on Brogdon. Gordon, the pass to Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. I think we can say that shot is well within his range. Yeah, let's hope so. To the wing, right side. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Oh, it's blocked by Bull. Here's Okogi. To the inside. And Durant with the big finish. I'll tell you, he is so tough to keep down once he gets near that rim. Yeah, he can get up even a few notches higher. Nails it from beyond the arc. Ten points for him. He is so accurate from the perimeter. Simons takes these shots with such confidence. Well, they gave him the nickname Anferno. Anthony Simons can really take over a game. VA, when he's hot, watch out. Lights out shooting the building. And he can slice up a deep with the best of them. Thibel finds Simons. Oh, Durant with a steal. And here's the fast break. Gordon outside. And Gordon with the big finish. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. He's shaking the hoop. He's actually shaking the whole building. Oh, what a slam. Look here, the fans going crazy right now. And it's the Suns with the ball. The Blazers making their last shot. Okogi, the pass to Durant. Banked it in off the glass. Durant's got 13. The team is leaning on KD tonight, and why not? The guy was born to score. Durant outside. 
Oh, Grant throws it down. Outstanding move in the lane. Just enjoy that one at home, folks. No doubt, with some huge elevation on the finish. Phoenix calls timeout. And it's a completely new group for the Suns. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Sharp, he's checked in for Simons. Brockton against Beal. Pass to O'Neal. Jacks up a three. He can't get that one to fall. Kevin Durant has been leading the charge for the Sun. His fingerprints were all over that quarter. 13 points. Lead. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, what stands out to you from the Suns in this one? Well, so far, they've got things rolling along nicely at the offensive end. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. Here are the five. Portland has to start the second. Thibel and Grant are at the forward spots. Malcolm Brogdon out there with Sharp. And it's Williams in at the center position. And for some reason, he decided to foul there. Yeah, B.A., that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind it. Sharp goes in. It's blocked. They recover it. And there's the foul. It'll go on Grayson Allen. That's his first foul. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. And it's a completely new group for the Suns. And it's Kevin Durant with the foul. That's his first foul. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Brogdon from outside. From deep. Brogdon. A legitimate threat beyond the arc. Brogdon's sense for when to shoot from there is outstanding. Here's Durant. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Booker's got his fourth assist in this one. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Ooh, how sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Booker just hammered it down. A creative finisher. Love seeing Booker attack the rim and convert like this. Sharp passes to Williams. And Williams punches it home. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. And there's the foul. It'll go on Matisse Thibel. That's his first foul. And with players like Moran and Giannis last season getting undercut around the rim, would you support moving the charge circle out of foot, Graham? You know, B.A., that's a good idea. I mean, I don't see why not. The league wants more highlights and less injuries, so it seems to make a lot of sense to me. Eubanks, he's checked in for the Suns. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Walker, he's checked in for Graham. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. But the truth is, those type of plays are going to happen. You just have to regroup mentally and get back to work. Some changes for Phoenix. O'Neal, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. Roddy comes in for Okogie. And it's Beal in for Devin Booker. Aiden, he's checked in for Portland. Murray comes in for Thibel. Nice pass. You love how Sharp anticipates situations. Beal surveying the D. Out of bounds. It'll be Trailblazers ball. And so it's Walker with it. He brings it up for the Portland Trailblazers. They trail by one. You know, Smitty, we've seen some ridiculous leapers in the NBA. But Shaden Sharp is at another level. Yeah, Grant, some reports they have his vertical jump at 50 inches. He can posterize anyone in this league. And one of those guys who is capable of doing crazy dunks. 
and he's really improved as a playmaker over the years. Beal's basketball IQ seems to just get higher and higher. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Suns. The way they've been going after steals in this game, it has been super impressive. They are wreaking havoc right now. Another stat they're doing well is in blocks. They're keeping their hands up and closing out quickly on shooters. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Brian, the new leadership for the Suns is proving to be aggressive right from the jump. Within days of new ownership taking over, the blockbuster trade for Kevin Durant was executed. The luxury tax bill increased, but the message from the Suns' top brass was we're focused on winning and not money. Money follows success. Yeah? No doubt about that. And with Beal in the mix, they are all all in. Yep, that one's good. And the Suns lead by three. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Here's Sharp. And he got the win. And even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen so many of these personal foul calls still disputed. Even the previous play is under review and a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look so the officials can be sure they get it right. After review, the ruling on the floor stands. And they've made their decision. The call the will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still peeing. And the Suns will go for a different look here. Bowl, he's checked in for Eubanks. Kevin Durant comes in for O'Neal. Okogie's checked in for Roddy. And it's Booker in for Gordon. Simons is checked in for Portland. The Suns have gone seven for eight now in the second quarter. Pass to Durant. Back to Booker. The three. And Aiden pulls it down. Portland has gotten seven of eight three-pointers to go in this game. On the take. And Aiden with the stuff. Watch out. DeAndre Aiden coming through. The Suns trailing. Booker with it. He's got seven. And Durant with the big finish. Doing more work in the painted area. He has really excelled inside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Durant. A minute six left in the first half. And here's Simons outside. And count it. Now five for seven turning into such a great score. Anthony Simon is a bucket getter. Having another big night. And finished off by Bull. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. In a close game like this, everything has to be challenged. And everything has to be earned. That's good from Aiden. Yeah, what I appreciate about Aiden is that he wants to keep getting better. You have to be excited about his future. And here's Booker. Outside Bowl. Pass to Beal. Bowl, a screen on Walker. Durant, pass to Bowl. Five on the clock. The Suns need to get off a shot. And finished off by Bowl. To this day, I still marvel at the skill level of KD. A player of his size, able to navigate the pick and roll and deliver to a teammate. And Aiden with the stuff. Assistant. And he's been an ideal and teammate tonight. He's really creating plenty of looks with his passing. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. Oh, Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. And he makes it. Walker. And the Trailblazers lead by three. Heads up play by Simons. He sees a better opportunity for his team and moves the ball. Phoenix calls timeout. Phoenix, timeout, timeout. Here they are, your son, Panther. Blazer substitution. Robert Williams. Gerald.
Jeremy Grant, Matisse Spice, Malcolm Here's Brown. Durant, and it's good. But hang on here. The officials may want to take a look at it on the replay monitor. Well, the previous play is under into the locker room. They're going to bring out the monitor and see if he got it off in time. And there's really plenty of time remaining in this game. So you want to make sure the right call was made. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And they've gotten enough looks at it. The basket will not count. The quarter ended before he got it off. That was a great idea to give it a second glance. The replay system is available, so you've got to utilize it. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Trailblazers out in front. They're up by three. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. You know, Kevin Durant has really been making it happen here, guys. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. Uh, Kogi and Durant, they're the forwards. Eric Gordon is out there with Devin Booker. And they're not happy with the call here. Coach has given the signal. He's going to use his challenge. Probably a good idea in such a close contest. People were worried that this... Every game, the NBA was smart to adopt this challenge policy in 2019. You know, one thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So they see clear evidence of a bad call, the and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. Grant against Gordon. Grant the pass to Thibel. Lays out. Oh, Durant with a steal. In transition. Here come the Suns. And that one is hammered home. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Here's Grant. That one no good. Ooh, Durant with some nice D. Durant's gone two of five from the field here. Okogi, the pass to Booker. Simons with a steal. Now the Blazers on the move. Let's it go from deep. Bowl grabs the board. Right now a close game for Phoenix. Outside Durant. And there's the foul. It'll go on Matisse Thibel. That's foul number two for him. Timeout called. Portland. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. DeAndre Ayton, he's checked in for Portland. Sharp comes in for Simons. Five to shoot. Okogi, the pass to Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. Six lead changes in a game that has a lot of character. Yeah, both sides stepping up and making big plays. Sharp. Shots blocked. Durant against Grant. And now they decide to foul intentionally. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Durant for three. KD splashes the triple. KD is confident with that quick pull-up to stop the run. And Aiton with the lay-in. Aiton's got 13 now. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Phoenix has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. There's the screen by Bowl. Pass to Okogi. Back to Booker. And there's the foul. It's on DeAndre Ayton. That's his first foul of the game. Thirteen foul. Here's Booker. He has seven. Bowl is screen on Tybal. Booker, the pass to Bowl. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. He's got ten. When you look at the career numbers of Booker, here's a guy who has really increased his assist numbers. 
An incredible double clutch dunk. Wow. Anytime Sharp lifts off, it's showtime. Booker, the pass to Durant. Left side, Booker. Clock at six. Bowl finds Booker. Durant with a screen on Brogdon. Oh, the defense just making it easy for Durant. And that's just knowing where you are in the shot clock. Durant with a terrific bailout. Here's Thibault. Two minutes remaining. Cole grabs the board. Trailblazers foul. Matisse Thibault. Third personal foul. That free throw good from Booker. Phoenix making some changes. Eubanks comes in for Cole. And it's Bradley Beal in for Booker. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Simons checked in. And the Trailblazers call time here. O'Neal, he's checked in for the Suns. Roddy comes in for Okogie. Phoenix with the ball. They're on a 12-4 run. Gordon, the pass to Eubanks. Out to Gordon. Pass to Beal. Shot clock at five. Back to Gordon. Ooh, excellent D there from Aiden. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. The Suns have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Boy, that foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, I know. It just doesn't make sense, given the situation. At the line for two. First free throw is good for the Trailblazers. Williams has checked in for DeAndre Ayton. And Murray subbed in for Thibel. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And Williams has got the ball here for the Portland Trailblazers. Seven-point differential. Back to Grant. Soft touch off the glass. Assistant. Grant's got seven points in the game. Very high percentage look for Grant. Those kinds of plays just get you in rhythm and keep you there. Eubanks the screen. Three-pointer. Beal knocks down the triple. Even though he hasn't lit up the scoreboard, I like how he's keeping others involved. Here's Simons. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. He's got 15. Listed at 6'4", but Anthony Simons has a 6'9 wingspan, and that link certainly helps him on the interior. Gordon with it. Guarded now by Williams. And Robert Williams picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. We're in the bonus now, and they'll go to the line. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense positioning himself well to send it back. Portland trailing here. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Trying to outwork the defense. Simons manages to get the shot in the air. Walker, he's checked in for Portland. Taking two shots. And so Simons nails both of them. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Beal against Simons. Pass to O'Neal. To the middle. Here's Eubanks. Time called here. The Suns decide to talk it over. And the Blazers making a change here. Sharps checked in. Make some noise once again for your son, Breaker. 20 seconds left to play in the third. And he gets the bucket. His position might be shooting guard, but Beal has no problems taking it inside. Here's Murray. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. At the line for the Trailblazers. And Murray drops them both. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Now Beal. Three-pointer, O'Neal. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. 
He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. This is what you need your floor general to do. Take charge, lead by example, unselfish play. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. And the Suns will go for a different look here. Bowl, he's checked in for Eubanks. Durant comes in for O'Neal. Okogie's checked in for Robbie. And it's Booker in for Gordon. All right, let's get a report from Ali. I was able to listen in on what Frank Vogel told the team earlier. He said, keep it going, guys. Ride this wave of momentum. We're playing great right now, but we can't let up. Guys, back to you. Great work, Allie. Thanks. On the court right now for Portland. Simons Simon. and Thibel are the Three two wings. DeAndre Ayton is out there with Jeremy Grant. And it's Brogdon in at the one. Pass to Bowl. It's Beal on the wing. Bowl screen on Brogdon. Back to Bowl. That one doesn't drop. Ooh, some solid defense from Brogdon. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused, but weird plays happen. And here are the Trailblazers now. They trail by six. Fantastic decision making. Aiden electing to move it for the high percentage look. Phoenix has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line in this one. Bible against Booker. Right side bowl. And finished off by Bowl. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. And Durant with the big finish. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. And Aiton with the stuff. And this is how dynamic Aiton can be on the offensive end. Keep getting him the ball, please. There's a screen by Bowl. Pass to Durant. Here's Okogi. He's covered by Grant. Durant owning the inside. Nice move. Boy, Katie's lit. Shows up everywhere. Simons passes to Brogdon. From outside the arc. Here's Thibel. Oh, rejected by Beal. And they'll keep possession. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Oh, a screen on Thibel. Booker against Thibel. Pass to Bull. Outside for Booker. Clock at two. Another three for Phoenix. You see the level of confidence Booker possesses. Outstanding off the catch. There's Simons with a three. Durant pulls it in. Low percentage shot from long range. Terrible decision. Especially when you still have a chance to win this. This game goes on, the hotter he gets. Here's Aiton. The Suns clear it. Bowles got four rebounds now. Phoenix has gone six of nine from three-point range. And there's the foul. It'll go on Matisse Thibel. That's his fifth foul. First team foul. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Durant, pass to Bowl. Not going to go that time. And so Grant will bring it up for Portland. 11-point game. And an intentional foul right there. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Eubanks, he's checked in for Bowl. Oh, denied by Durant. Beal from outside. Fires in the triple. And the Suns lead by 14. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Suns. It's easy for me. Look at their defensive effort all game. The block total shows their commitment to contesting shots. 
Another big factor for them has been their ability to get points off of turnovers. The easiest offense is created by good defense early into his night. But honestly, I don't know that they can come back no matter who's on the court. Williams has checked in for Aiden. Barring a miracle comeback, this one is wrapped up. They were able to control the tempo and flow of the game, and it will end in a victory for the Suns. And I was really impressed with their attitude today, Graham. Competitive game. They battled through every step of the way. And B.A., can you say big-time effort and energy? <laughs> I mean, just a tremendous performance. They were well-deserving of this win. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Kevin Durant. Shoulder and below for them all Defensive. night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. Now Portland with it, trailing by 17. And it's Simon penetrating, and the bucket is good. The first step quickness is up there for Anthony Simons. So it's Phoenix now, and it's Jeremy Grant with a foul. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the line for two. Lots can be said about Bradley Beal scoring, Grant. There's more to his game than that. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the shooting is just the most eye-catching part. He also averages solid assist numbers and plays at a high effort level off ball or on defense. Man, he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's going to go on Drew the Eubanks. For the Trailblazers, DeAndre Ayton. And so he makes both from the line. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Hooker, good. That's an inspired ball club. They fought hard, and during the most important moments, they made big plays. Especially during this last run, Jeremy which Grant. ultimately put the game here. away. Kamare. Now here's Durant.
and it's the Suns to start out. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Akogi and Durant are the forwards. Gordon is out there with Devin Booker, and it's Bull in at the five spot. And the dunk by Bull. Bull. That's the ability to see the game a step forward. Durant has it and makes his teammate look good. During the summer of 2019, DB, Oklahoma City traded Paul George to the Clippers. They got Shea Gildas Alexander in that trade, who goes on to become an all NBA selection and looks like his future is like all star level every year. Not only that, you got a boatload of picks, one of which was Jalen Williams, who's a big time upside player in this league. Wow, what a deal for this group. The quality decision making off that pick and roll. Booker just taking what the defense gives him. Holmgren gets the bucket. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Booker outside KD. It's good from long range. Kevin, Kevin Durant is a gifted shot maker. What you can do, I can do better. Giddy finds Dort. Dort with a screen for Hayward. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. Now, here's Bull. And the rejection by Holmgren. Gildas Alexander passes to Holmgren. Holmgren sets the screen for Hayward. The 19-foot shot, and again it's Oklahoma City. And playing up tempo, pro-level ball can be hard for some guys, but Holmgren has easily made the transition. And Katie throws it down. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Oklahoma City has gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. It's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. Good on the shot. Such a smoothness and ease to the way Shea Gilgis Alexander plays. What a pretty drive. Makes it look easy. No good from Booker. Thunder have gotten all five of their shots to go down in the first quarter. Terrific start. Holmgren kicks to Giddy. Holmgren with a screen on Booker. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Boy, Giddy, if he becomes a knockdown three-point shooter, you will not be able to guard this guy. Durant down low. He'll just Alexander cover. Durant with a screen on torch. Booker dishes to KD. Shot clock at five. That's tipped and stolen by Hayward. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Thunder. Uh, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far they are hitting at a high clip. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. Now, here's George. Here's Giddy. He's off on that one. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Gilgis Alexander against KD. And KD throws it down. Well, Kevin Durant not about to settle for any low percentage shot. My goodness, with authority. Took him no time at all on that one. Hayward's got a couple of threes now in the first with the Thunder. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Gordon, the pass to Durant. And then Durant with the champ. KD is showing a little bit of elevation. After seven years with Houston, Eric Gordon traded away during the 2023 season. So, Kev, when you look back at that Houston time period, only James Harden made more threes in that particular year. Gordon was one of the keys on those 50-60 win teams. Eric will always have a place in the Rockets lore. And here's Booker after the three-pointer from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Devin Booker, not a guy who's going to just hunt out his own shot. If you're open, he'll find you. Hayward okay, okay. against Bull. And a wide open look for Gilgis Alexander. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Gilgis Alexander's got seven points in the game. 
27 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Durant, and then Durant with the jam. Kevin Durant just understands how to find the open spots on the floor. His scoring line, proof of him getting to the efficiency we always look to. Bowl, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Bowl kicks to KD. Hayward with some nice D. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. We'll get right back to the action when we reach... And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. What stands out to you from Oklahoma City in this one? Just stretching out the floor that first. Uh, they had the defense scrambling. And that was obviously the plan coming in. Now the big question, can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along? On the court for the Suns, Akogi and Durant are the forwards. Booker out there with Gordon, and it's Bull in at the center. And you think of height as an advantage in basketball, but Greg, the versatility at such a premium. Can you be too tall in today's NBA? It's a valid question. The, the two biggest concerns for seven-footers are mobility and durability. To move the way they need to puts a lot of strain on those lower extremities. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Puts up a three. And Gilgis Alexander the bucket on the assist by Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander's got the lead up to 11 now for the Thunder. And Durant, here we go. And oh boy, and now, yep, this will be a coach's challenge. We thought that might happen. Triggering a review of the personal foul. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Previous play is under review. Fear to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays, you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving at and how fast they After review, the ruling on the floor stands. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to review it. The double checking and the game continues on. So it's both teams making substitutions here. The first one falls. If you are a defender guarding Kevin Durant, you have got to have great stamina, both mentally and physically. He is as well-rounded an offensive player as the game has ever seen. And boy, good night when he starts to cook. Williams gets the bucket. Williams has got his first bucket in this one. Boy, that's a backbreaker. Takes it right into the rim and extends their lead. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Here's the screen. Here's Booker. Here he goes. It's good for a second make. He's made two or three so far. How did Booker get that to go? This guy is such a great shot maker. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. Outside, Dort. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. To the inside, Williams kicks to Dort. Five to shoot. That one rolling around and rims out. Suns trail by nine. Doris, you don't see many players in the NBA that play the way Lou Dort does. Wow. Kevin, this guy is legit as a defensive player in the NBA. Loves to do the dirty work. May play the two-guard position, but his frame and his game play more like a forward. 
the kid plays with so much ferocity. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a mm -hmm. little bit. That, right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. the pass to Hayward. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. Oh, nice job there from Holgram. His guys appreciate when they're open, he gets them the ball. Here's Beal. Teardrop shot. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. For three, Hayward. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Here's the screen. O'Neal passes to Eubank. And the rejection by Holmgren. Already set the summer league record for blocks in his first game. Holmgren, one of the best young shot blockers in the league. Here's the three. And Holmgren, the bucket on the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren's got eight. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. There's O'Neal with the three. Thunder with the rebound. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. What's been amazing to watch is Shea Gilgis Alexander going from good player to now putting his name at the very top of the list in terms of great guards in the league. Pass to Holmgren. There's the triple. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Holmgren. Williams finds Holmgren. Misses the three. And here's O'Neal. He'll bring it up for the Suns. It's a 13-point game. And Holmgren pulls it down. Oklahoma City has gotten fond of that three-point shot here in the second quarter. Four of nine. And here's Gilgis Alexander outside. Drills it from outside. Well, that's a quick strike from Shea Gilgis Alexander. In catch and shoot situations, those scoring instincts are right on point. And the Suns call time here. And the Suns with a completely new group on the floor. There's 37 seconds left here in the second. Here's Gordon. And no good. The try spell continuing for him. Holmgren the pass to Gilgis Alexander. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Well, for a big man, his stroke is just beautiful. And because of the height, it's so hard to challenge. And he has his fingerprints all over this first half. He is just shooting it so efficient. This guy's mechanics are just pure. Kevin Durant, folks, turn the lights out if you allow him to get a three-point shot off. And Hayward gets it to go. Yet another three. Once we hit the second quarter, it just seems that those threes just started to fall like raindrops. Shay Gilgis Alexander, guys, has been on display for the Thunder. His production has been flowing as he's tallied 20 points and looks to be planning for more. And we'll be right back after this. second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. 
What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far unstoppable. Hugis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. That's Hayward. Then it's Williams. And it's Holmgren in at the five down low. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Uh, just Three. tremendous range already. What a floor spacer Booker is at such a tender young age. And it's Gilgis Alexander missing. Suns trail by 18. Bowl setting the pick for Booker. From deep. Another three for Phoenix. You've got to be there on the catch if Devin Booker gets an opportunity from the perimeter. This guy too good a shooter. To the wing right side. Now the pass to Giddy. Over Gordon. Here's Holmgren. And the jump by Holmgren. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And here's Booker from the arc. The basket good off the assist from Durant. KD's got three assists in the game. A shot by Williams, no good. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Puts up a deep three. Durant, the long-range shot, finds its mark. Well, you see the unlimited range of Kevin Durant, and how easy is it to the slim reaper? And Gildas Alexander, here we go. And Bull sends it back. And Booker puts up a deep three. Another three for Phoenix. For three. I mean, he hit that shot from the next town over. Kev, what, what a shot. And here is Gildas Alexander. And two points for him. He kicks to Hayward. Hayward with a screen for Gilgis Alexander. And Hayward the stuff. And the game of basketball is one of runs. And right now, this one's definitely not over. KD a screen on Hayward. Booker dishes the ball. Poked away. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. And pushing it up here. Here is Oklahoma City. Williams has a screen for Hayward. Hands it from downtown. Hayward's got five points in the quarter. But Gordon Hayward has become a master in pick and roll situations. He knows how to get space off a screen. For three, Booker. Another three yeah, for Phoenix. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. Here's a Kogi. He's guarded by Williams. Durant kicks to Booker. For three. Makes it alive. And Katie is right there. Durant's got it back down to within single digits for the Suns. You take a look at why KD is so special. Not just a ball handler, not just a shooter. He's so willing to contribute in every aspect. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Giddy finds Williams. And finished off by Williams. Well, just finding the open man and making sure it's on time and on target. This is who Josh Giddy is. And the Suns call time. Jordan, he's checked in for the Thunder. Suns trail by 12. Now here's Booker. 21 points in the game. And the Suns miss again. Now here's Holmgren from the arc. It's rebounded by Roddy. For Phoenix, they've gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. In the corner, it's Gordon. And the layup's good off the glass. What an effective, efficient offensive possession. They'd love to get that shot every trip down the floor. Trills the three-pointer. Hayward's got eight points here in this quarter. I think there's no question that Gordon Hayward is now a premier talent in the NBA. This guy could be lights out. 
And a deep three from Booker. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. And Hayward brought the stuff. I don't think you can let Gordon Hayward get free around the rim. This guy will throw it down and leap, no doubt. Outside Gordon. Driving the lane. And then Gordon with the dunk. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Time called here. The Thunder decides to talk it over. Six seconds left in the third quarter. Williams inside the line, and the last second attempt does not go in for it. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for yeah, when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. During that last break, Coach Mark Dagnall talked to his team. And he was real calm during the timeout. He was smiling and he told the team, we're up. The game plan is working. Go out there and have fun. It's always fun when you're up late, guys. Thanks, David. Setting the floor for the Suns. The big three for the Suns, all on the four. Booker and Beal as the guards, and Katie at the four. Then it's Bull Bull, and it's a Kogi in at the small forward. And those long strides allow Holmgren to get to the rim with only one or two dribbles. Booker outside. Oh, good with the triple. The Thunder leading by nine. Hayward with the ball. Now guarded by Booker. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Up and in. That's his 10th break in the contest. He has only taken 13 shots. Well, you love the unselfishness of Gordon Hayward in that instance. You think of him as a scorer, but he's a terrific setup guy as well. A power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. And so it's KD with it. He brings up the ball for Phoenix. Beal, the pass to Bull. And the dunk by Bull. What a pass by Bradley Beal. This guy is an elite scorer, but don't forget about his passing skills. Holmgren gets to Hayward. Holmgren with a screen on KD. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Booker against Dort. Pass to Bull. Makes it out to Booker. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Putting up points is what Devin Booker does best, and right now he is showing out. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Oklahoma City? And they're playing beautiful basketball right now, racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly, just finding the open man. And the other thing, guys, that they've been very effective at is shooting the long-range jumpers. The defense has been having trouble closing out to them in this game in particular. Timeout call, the Suns. Gordon Hayward with another strong contribution so far in this one. And he just keeps hitting shot after shot. They need to design a way to deny him the basketball. Make someone else beat you. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. How about this run, Craig? They're on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing, really keeping things simple. Here's Durant, and Katie throws it down. Well, and it took a terrific effort at both ends to sustain this run. They found their composure on both ends of the floor, and that is what triggered this run. 
And Holmgren, the bucket on the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Bowl setting the pick for Durant. And the dunk by Bowl. Boy, how about the quick decision making of KD? What a fabulous job he does sifting through the defense and putting the pass on target. Booker against Gilgis Alexander. Hayward can hit. And it's the Suns ball. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Booker. And it's Phoenix scoring again. It's one thing to know your team counts on you to deliver big buckets. It's another to take that responsibility and run with it. Go ahead, Mr. Booker. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. Passes to Holmgren. A three. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Holmgren's got nine points now in just the second half. And 50 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Booker. And the jump by Booker. Yeah, the thing about Booker, not necessarily the quickest twitch athlete. He uses that smooth handle to gain separation. Holmgren with a screen on Booker. Inside. And the jump by Holmgren. Unflappable. I mean, no moment is too big for Holmgren. They needed that basket. Booker outside. Dishes at the bowl. Bowl setting the pick for Booker. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut to just one in the basket from Bowl. Showing he can step up when the team needs him. Bowl there with a big basket. So they foul intentionally. Gilgis Alexander against Booker. Holmgren wide open. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. You know, stay cool in a clutch moment. Holmgren not letting his inexperience get the best of him. Look at the pressure on Bradley Beal at his absolute best. 104 left to play in the final quarter. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. Trifecta. Bowl is screen on George. Come on! Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. What a moment for Gilgis Alexander in the clutch. Yes, sir. Booker looking around. Booker draws the double. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they save the layup. He drops the first one and then shrinks the march into just four. Devin Booker has made a career out of staying cool under pressure. You get the sense he loves being at the foul line with the game in the balance. What happens? And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. And there's the drive. Pass to Giddy. Six to shoot. Holmgren sets the screen for Giddy. Holmgren can't hit. A three and nothing but a three will do here. You've got to keep your composure and execute to get a quality look from three. Durant for three. Oh, he couldn't make that shot.
Especially when they feature teams from the same conference. Ooh, I like a little spice. But remember, only one team per conference gets to the final. So that's going to naturally develop some rivalries here and there. So tonight should be a really competitive game. All right, let's check out the starting group for the Thunder. They've got Holmgren. Lugans Dort out there with Gordon Hayward. Then it's Josh Giddy. And it's Gilgis Alexander in at the one. Green stopping on the dime and putting up his shot. Boy, that was impressive how suddenly he did that. Hayward to pass to Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. The three is up. That one's good. And it's Hayward with the setup. Gilgis Alexander's got five. And <laughs> that's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. An all-star back in 2017. Gordon Hayward remains a quality player, Clark. Yeah, you know, because of his versatility, I think it allows him to still be a high-level player, even now that he's not as ball-dominant as he was in Utah. He still contributes and does so effectively. Hey, the slam by Hayward. The defense gives Shea all their attention, and that leaves another guy open and ready to score. Up top, Thompson. Brooks outside. Takes it inside. And a strong finish with two hands. With two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control. Protecting the ball the whole way. And he should be. I mean, remove all doubt. Get it down hard and simple. Fires for three. Outside for Green. Just five on the clock. Smith in the high post. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Oklahoma City has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Giddy finds Dort. With the drive. And he throws it down with one hand. Great determination. Dort uses his ferociousness to his advantage. Here's Green. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First One thing about Jalen Green, first his path to the NBA was through the G League, Clark. And, you know, I think we'll see more and more players take that path, those who don't want to go to college. It's a really good way to enter into NBA-level experience early on. You want to get your feet wet before diving into the big time? That's a good way to do it. You know, Dort doesn't show a lot of love to the mid-range, but he's smart to not completely overlook it. I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. Holmgren with a screen on green. Dort, the pass to Giddy. Chalk up two there. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Brooks. Pass to Green. Puts up a three. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Green picks him up. Dort, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Giddy with it. And he banks in the layup. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. The Rockets have gone four of eight and looking in control. Brooks outside. Now a timeout called by Houston. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. There's a minute 17 left in the first quarter. And that one's good. Green. You know, with his quickness, he's already good at creating separation for his shot. And we know he doesn't need much room to get his shot off either. Now here's Holmgren. No points so far. The shot won't fall. Here's Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. You know, inside is where Thompson excels. And the concentration allowing him to finish there. Hayward finds Dort. Hayward with a screen on green. Dort with it. He's picked up by Eason. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. They set the pick. From deep. 
It's rebounded by Houston. Boy, I'm puzzled, baffled, confused. How does such an elite finisher not throw that one down? Scratching my head, shaking it too. Now here's Hayward. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Houston has gone two of five from deep. Three-pointer, Brooks. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got four rebounds in the game. Sinks the tray. Dort. So Dort's got seven points. Dort has really improved this part of his game. Would love to see him shoot more often from out there. Here's Thompson. Oh, and the jam by Thompson. That's unreal. I mean, Thompson, that was going to hit his head on the rim one day. Oh. And so it's Jalen Green making highlights for the Houston Rockets. And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. All right, guys, for the Rockets, what jumps out at you stat-wise? Well, it's pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Or grinding it out on the glass. They've really been working for those points. They've got Thompson. Tari Eason is out there with Smith. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Brooks in at the two. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Now here's Hayward. Dort for three. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. Now put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Well, Van Vliet likes to work up close and personal at the basket. Always ready to take it inside. Well, after finishing tied for last in the West last year, Clark, Houston is looking for a turn of events. You know, 13 guys on last year's roster B.A. with three years of experience or less. But this summer, Houston bringing in some good vets, headlined by Fred Van Vliet. And they're looking to compete at a much higher level. The Rockets trail. Van Vliet outside. And there's the drive. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. And sometimes you forget about Van Vliet's speed. When this happens, he's more than happy to remind you of it. The Rockets have got two of three shots to go in the second. And up the court come the Thunder on the break. Kill just Alexander, no good. Outside Eason. Launches it from deep. Smith passes to Brooks. Picked by Smith. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Lou Dort. That's foul number two for him. First team foul. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Eason, a screen on Hayward. Smith outside. And stolen by Holmgren. And up the court come the Thunder on the break. So agile there on the break. I mean, you've got to appreciate Holmgren hustling to capitalize in these situations. Pass to Thompson. Van Vliet against Dort. Screen by Eason. Over Giddy. Eason can't get it to go. Oklahoma City has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Hayward finds Giddy. Holmgren with a screen on Eason. From deep, Giddy on target from range. Now it's a 7-point Thunder lead. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Inside. And there's Thompson on the assist from Eason. Thompson's got 6. Clark, it feels like we've reached the peak of this three-point explosion. What do you think the next trend in the NBA will be? You know, Brian, it's hard to say. I mean, perhaps we could land on the return of the center because we're already seeing that, and the centers that are excelling and dominating the league and winning MVPs are in their prime. So perhaps we'll see teams get bigger and play more through their centers going forward. And it's the Thunder with the ball. Following the score by Houston. Yeah, making it look easy. Gilgis Alexander is so skilled. The ball on a string. You'll just see him do this time and time again. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, Grant Ahmed Thompson is proof there are more rounds than ever to get to the lead. I mean, yeah, I mean, he and his twin brother, Asar, coming through overtime elite. A different path. They're both high lottery picks, and it worked out for them both. 
And what I like about Thompson, along with the high-level athleticism, he has a high-level feel for the game. What was the defense thinking? I mean, that's the wrong guy to leave open. Now here's Van Vliet. And he converts the layup. He has six. Yeah, look at the strength from Van Vliet. Not the biggest, but wouldn't be denied. Here's Holmgren. And the big finish by Holmgren. The assist. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Van Vliet against Dort. Smith outside. This one for three. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. Hey, that quick release is what makes Smith so lethal in those catch-and-shoot situations. He's been playing great, unselfish basketball, really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. Oklahoma City has gone 50% from the perimeter in the second, shooting four of eight. Hayward, the pass to Gilgis Alexander, fires from deep. And it's Shea hitting the three. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Smith with a screen on Dort. Smith outside. The three. Another three from Houston. Fantastic response from Smith Jr. Great poise and confidence on display there. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And the new group getting ready for the Rockets. Whitmore's checked in for Eason. Tate comes in for Thompson. Holiday's checked in for Brooks. And Green is subbed in for Van Vliet. And it's Williams. Oh! oh wow. Get out Come of the way! With authority! Mm. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Well, I tell you what, guys. The kids, the young kids like to say, that's doing too much. That falls into that category. That was too much. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Thunder lead by three. Great activity level on the boards. Impressive. Wow. Down low. Here's Tate. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Outstanding execution. Good job working the ball inside. Here's Williams. Had it fallen, but it is offline. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. It's the Thunder leading by a point. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after the break. Just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, Shea Gilgis Alexander has been exceptional here, guys. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for, and then, of course, executing. You know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. Taking a look at the Thunder, they've got Gordon Hayward, Josh Giddy out there with Shea Gilgis Alexander. Then there's Lou Dort, and it's Holmgren in at the center position. A 6 6 playmaker. SGA has a great view of the floor. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. Easton with a steal. Pass to Smith. Tipped. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Dort for three. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. And think about this. Originally a two-way contract guy, Lou Dort has become a solid NBA starter. No surprise when he has huge scoring nights. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for the Thunder. The lead is two. Here's Giddy. Pass to Holmgren from the corner. Thompson pulls it in. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Then you got to at least honor Brooks' three-point shot if you're the defense. I mean, he is more than capable of connecting. 
Now here's Giddy. He's got 10. To the inside. Oh, Brooks with the steal. And here we go. The Rockets in transition. Smith with a screen on Dort. Here's Green. They get it again. Thompson passes to Smith. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. We're all power from Smith Jr. on that slam. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Dort. Now Hayward. Knocked loose. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Dort. Here's the ball. Houston has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. And the foul called on Chet Holmgren. That's his first foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. Brooks against Hayward. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. Yeah, watch out. I mean, there's a nasty streak there to Brooks's game. And it's Dort off the drive. Pass to Hayward. Holmgren with a screen on Easton. Back to Holmgren. And the big finish by Holmgren. Great job setting him up. The timing of the pass was key. Green against Dort. Smith with a screen on Dort. Thompson. The Thunder with the rebound. Dort, the pass to Holmgren. Oh, the Thunder, another three. Ah, uh, a superb three-point threat. When Holmgren is knocking down triples, he's hard to contain. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Brooks against Hayward. Thompson, a screen on Hayward. Here's Brooks. Gilchis Alexander with a rebound. The Thunder have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Offensive board controls the rebound and the putback. And this is what coach wants to see from Holmgren. I will work in the defense to get a second chance look. And so they choose to intentionally foul. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. Now here's Hayward. He's got five. And there's the call on Tari Eason. That's his first foul. So for the Rockets, Whitmore comes in for Eason. And Van Vliet is subbed in for Green. He'll just Alexander from outside. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got six rebounds in the game. Smith with a screen on Dort. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Sends it home from three-point land. Van Vliet's got nine points. Keeping the game simple. Van Vliet just working the defense and taking what he sees there. Hey, the slam by Hayward. Here in the second half, this game still nip and tuck. <laughs> just an insane amount of lead changes. The fans are getting their money's worth. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Thunder. Well, the coaching staff has to love what they're seeing on offense. There's so many assists because how this team is moving the ball. They've been pounding any miss on the glass and cashing in on the offensive boards. Uh, I've been impressed with that aspect of their game. Tate's checked in for the Rockets. Holiday comes in for Brooks. Holmgren finds Hayward. And it's stolen by Van Vliet. Back comes Houston in transition. There's a screen. Let's go with a three. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. And when Van Vliet kicks it up a notch, get out of his way. Keep letting him do his thing. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Dort. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander with the hammer. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for others. Against good defense, he finds just Oklahoma enough room City to operate. Timeout. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. Now a 
timeout call by Oklahoma City. And it's the Thunder with the ball. Williams from long range. The shot no good. Fred Van Vliet has been on display for Houston. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We're coming right back. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. And the Thunder call time here. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Hi, guys. Well, Mark Dadnall was just reviewing the plan with his team. He told the guys to stay after it inside. He said our play inside is terrific right now. He said don't lose any of that intensity. Stay strong down there. It's always nice to hear a coach enjoying his team's play. Back to you. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Ali. We've got Green. Tari Eason is out there with Thompson. Then it's Smith. And it's Brooks in at the two. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. Back to Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. That is Thompson's game. Rocking the rim and giving his team some energy. Well, a careless foul. That'll send him to the line for three free throws. Good defensive intensity. But you have to stay in control always. Especially on the three-point attempt. I mean, you have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you give a guy three free throws. The last one's off. They'll settle for two. Tough miss at this juncture. They're down two baskets right now. Out of bounds, the Thunder will take it. Unforced turnovers. They'll drive your coach insane. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Puts up a deep three. Yes, sir! Gilgis Alexander with a deep three. Cutting into this lead. They're well within striking distance. Boy, time to tighten it up on defense. A stop here would be huge. Thompson's shot is off. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for the Thunder. From deep three-point land, Eason pulls it in. Eason's got six rebounds here tonight. Green against Dort. Outside, Green. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Good read from Green there. Getting better at sensing when his teammates are wide open and need the ball. And Hayward, here we go. Got a piece of it. On the break. The three, Smith. And that comes off the assist by Green. Green's got assist number eight here already in the game. Hayward, the pass to Giddy. Now Gilgis Alexander. Rockets foul. Thompson. First personal foul. Second team foul. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. It's stolen by Green. Excellent defensive instincts leading to the quick reaction. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First personal foul. That one on Giddy. First I like foul. how Thompson put pressure on the D. The taking it strong near the hole. He hits the second from the line. Oklahoma City has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Giddy finds Holmgren. Now Gilgis Alexander. Defended by Thompson. Back to Holmgren. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Inside. And the big finish by Holmgren. Yeah, the defense making it way too easy for Holmgren. Gotta push him farther out than this. Smith outside. Out to Thompson. Back to Smith. Oh, he trains it. His sixth make in nine tries so far. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Hayward with a screen on Thompson. Unloads from 13. The Rockets pull it in. Eason's got seven rebounds in the game. Thompson's shot is off. Oklahoma City trailing. Two minutes in the game. Two minutes. Outside Giddy. Holmgren with a screen on Brooks. And it's Giddy missing. 
You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball, it's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that. Out of bounds, it'll be Thunderball. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Oh, Brooks with the steal. On the wing, Thompson. Thompson. Yeah, this is the kind of score this rookie can be. Thompson just doing whatever he wants right now. Eason against Hayward. Here's Kitty driving inside. That one's good. And it's Hayward with the setup. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Lou Dort. That's his third foul of the game. Personal foul. Second team foul. The Rockets have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. And it's hammered home by Green. A gifted athlete with an explosive first step. Green is at his best when he attacks off the dribble. Here's Kitty. It's a drive. Ooh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. Ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Pass to Thompson. Now here's Smith. Green up top. Shot clock at six. Thompson passes to Smith. Here's Easton. Holmgren with the block. Wow. I mean, the seven Oklahoma foot six City wingspan ball. coming in handy. Holmgren loves swatting away shots just like this. Here's Oklahoma City now. Back to Giddy. Up and over Brooks. Dort for three. And it's good. And now they trail by just four. Tenacious stuff from Dort. I mean, he knows the situation and is dead set on getting them a bucket. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Brooks the pass to Smith. And not a moment to lose on this possession. Got to go right up with it and then foul immediately. From deep, Giddy. Smith with the rebound. Here's Green. And
these days, it's refreshing, isn't it, to see a battle between half-court offenses? And to excel at that. You, you have to be extremely tactical, minimize turnovers, and execution is key. Here's the starting group for Houston. Jamari Smith. You've got Green. Tari Easton is out there with Smith. Then it's Brooks, and it's Thompson in at the small forward position. And so the Houston Rockets get the first points of the ball game. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Thompson. You got to be careful when guarding Harden. He's so crafty at finding ways to draw fouls. Los Angeles shooting their first free throws of this game. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. RJ, the thing about James Harden, whatever your team needs, he can provide at a very high level. Yeah, beyond the scoring and the pass. If you need 10 plus boards, he can do that for you also. Steals, the man lives in the passing lanes. Each night, he makes an impact in a different way. And it's the Clippers with the ball, following the score by Houston. George finds Leonard. Back to George. Takes finishing oh, with force. Whoa! That's what I'm talking about. Next. And putting his explosive athleticism on full display there. George is capable of some highlight real dunks. Now here's Thompson. Back to Green. To the paint. Here's Smith. And Smith with the stuff. As he gets more comfortable in unlocking his potential, we'll see Green get more comfortable in moving the ball. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Here's Tucker. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now, here is Smith. There's the drive. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. Yeah, once Smith puts the ball on the floor, he's got good straight-ahead speed. Harden the best of man. Kicks it out to Harden. Smith against George. And that one, good. George has got his second bucket of the game to go. And with his strength, George is not your average swing player. He can get his in the paint. Green against Harden. Outside, Green. Smith with a screen on Harden. Six on the shot clock. And Green slams it in. A vicious finish by Green. Boy, Jalen, this man can get up. And so Harden will bring it up for Los Angeles. Trailing by two. And there's the call on Amen Thompson. Thompson. That'll be his second, second foul of the game. Second team foul. Second team foul. Harden dishes to Leonard over Brooks. And a clever defender. I like seeing Brooks be that pest on this end and just disrupt. Two minutes remaining. It's good. Green's got Green six points. Green. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Which of the Houston Rockets were once a powerhouse team in the West, especially during the 2010? Yeah, they even gave the KD and Steph Curry Warriors a run for their money. Look, the James Harden era in Houston was special, and now they're trying to get back into contention. And it's Green with the jam. Let me tell you this. If you've got a vertical leap of 40 inches like Green, you're just going to be able to glide to the rim like that. Leonard, the pass to Man. Leonard with the screen on Green. Man. A shot goes in. First shot, first pass. Houston leading by four. Here's Green, and it's Green with the jam. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Leonard finds Tucker. Beyond the arc. It's rebounded by Houston. Green in the post, defended by George. Eason, the screen. Three-pointer. 
bangs home the trifecta. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Clippers trail by nine. And Tucker kicks to George. And Leonard has it in the corner. The pass to Tucker. Leonard with a screen on Smith. A nice shot by Tucker. And that was a smart pass by Leonard, willing to share it. Now here's Green. He's got 10. To the middle. Four seconds left. And it's Thompson with the jam. Just playing with poise and confidence. And they continue to put points on the board. And it's because they're not playing in a rush. They're just letting their shots come naturally within the flow of the offense. And so it's Houston with their lead standing at six. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Houston. I've really been impressed with how aggressive they've been inside. Looking to capitalize from the paint whenever they can. And I like the fact also that they are the ones that have forced the action. They've created a lot of offense by just attacking the rim. So with Harden on the bench, here's who Teron Lue's going with. At the guard spots, we'll see Westbrook and George. Kawhi Leonard is out there with P.J. Tuck. And it's Mann in at the three spot. Out to Smith. Pass to Brooks. Lock at six. And down it goes, jamming that one home. And you like to see this from Brooks, right? No need to fall in love with the jump shot. Give the defense different looks. And when you look at Dylan Brooks, man, he's someone that doesn't mind playing the goal. Yeah, he definitely seems to embrace this villain role, Greg. And look, a guy like that that keeps getting under your skin, that can be a benefit for your team. Here's Van Vliet. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And willing himself to the basket. Van Vliet has earned his spot in the NBA. This guy hard to deny. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey there, Kevin. Kawhi Leonard continuing to work his way back to peak form after his ACL tear during the 2021 playoffs. He said, I missed a whole year of basketball. I don't want to take anything for granted. I'm just trying to live in the moment and bring a sense of energy for the team. I'm still young, I'm a lot stronger, and I'm back. So, I'm happy. Kevin? Yeah, good to see, D.A. Hey, thank you. And it's Whitmore missing. Clippers trail by four. Kicks to Lennon. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Westbrook dishes to Lennon. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Leonard's got four points this quarter. Mr. Triple Double himself doing what he does best. Westbrook's assists are expected. Now that one from Van Vliet. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Leonard the best a man. There's a good screen. And again Los Angeles with the triple. The real come at us and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Smith sets the pick for Brooks. Back to Smith. Thompson in the corner. Pass to Smith. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball. Daniel Tice is checked in for the Clippers. James Harden comes in for Russell Westbrook. James. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. That one goes in. You know, Richard, this is not just your job. You're a huge fan of basketball. So that being said, who is your favorite player to watch? Back in the day, it was David Robinson. He was my very, very first favorite player. And I actually got to play against him in his last game that he ever played in the NBA Finals when they beat us. But right now, it's probably Steph Curry, Jokic, LeBron. I love guys that just play the game in such a beautiful, unique way. As a fan, that's my favorite. Tice passes to man. And that one, good. Man, he's got seven points in the game. A quality pass, setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Van Vliet deciding where to go with it. 
Smith with a screen on Hart. And that one drops. Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got seven points here in this quarter. And unafraid to challenge the heart of this defense. Van Vliet's a strong finisher for his size. Thompson against Harden. Pass to Tice. Dishes to George. That shot off. Nice D from Brooks. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for Houston. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Thompson sets the pick for Whitmore. Driving the lane. And when you watch Whitmore, he's much bigger than your average wing. It's a different type of match. This is his first free throw of the game. So for the Clippers, Leonard, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Amir Coffey comes in for Mann. And Bones Island subbed in for Paul George. The Rockets also changing it up. Tari Eason's checked in for Jabari Smith. Keyshawn T comes in for Thompson. And Aaron Holiday is subbed in for Brooks. He finds Tice. Here's Harden. There's the pass to Highland. Pulls up. High post. And that one goes long. Van Vliet against Harden. Tries to keep it alive. Van Vliet outside. Here's Eason. And so it's Houston with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. They'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Well, guys, what can you say? Jalen Green, an impressive effort here today. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look they wanted. You love guys who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. So on the floor for Houston. Oh, and got Tari Eason. Ed Moore is out there with Jayshon Tate. Then it's Fred Van Vliet, and it's Holiday in at the two-guard spot. Pass to Eason. Connects from three-point range. Eason's got six. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. All by himself. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got three assists in the game. Now, that one from Van Vliet. He's got nine. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. They set the pick. Passes it to Coffee. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Coffee's got four points in the quarter. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Here's Eason. And they pick up two. Eason. And the Rockets this lead by three. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. And they look like a completely different team. I wonder what Coach said to them at halftime to help spark this momentum chain. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. Eason, a screen on Hart. Holiday goes in. Houston needs to get a shot. Eason gets a wide open look. And another three for Houston. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Outside Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Meet your point guard. Harden stirs the drink for you as effectively as he scores. Van Vliet against Harden. Nifty move. And Van Vliet lays it in. 
Van Vliet's got 11 points. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake and then off to the races. Highland's shot is good. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Two minutes remaining. Van Vliet gets to Holland. Two minutes. Back to Van Vliet. Here's Whitmore. He's covered by Leonard. Harden against Van Vliet. Driving to the basket. Lays it up off the glass. Van Vliet's got six here in this quarter. It's been all Van Vliet tonight. One of the best undrafted players in league history. And he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a break ran Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. Man comes in for Amir Coffey. And Russell Westbrook subbed in for James Harden. Houston with a big group substitution here. Smith checked in for Jari Eason. Thompson comes in for Tate. Brooks checked in for Aaron Holiday. And it's Green in for Fred Van Vliet. A nice handle move there by Green. Houston leading by three. With the drive. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. A jump ball. Smith dishes to Thompson. Smith sets the pick for Thompson. Here's Whitmore. Out to Thompson. Just two to shoot. Got a hand on it. Los Angeles shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. First personal foul. Second team foul. Los Angeles making a switch here. George is checked in. For Los Angeles, they've gone 9 of 10 on their attempts in the third quarter. That is 90% from the field. What a roll they're on. Tucker finds Tice for the tie. A nice shot by Tucker. Tucker's got it all tied up now for the Clippers. So impressive, the, the fortitude, the will to battle back. But it did take a lot of energy to get here. And as tired as they might be after fighting to tie it up, they have all the momentum now to finish this comeback. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Tice passes to George with the fadeaway. Hits it from three-point range. George has got the lead up to one now for the Clippers. And what a smooth three-point shot. George has worked hard to develop that stroke. Smith with a screen on George. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you oh, and he got it to go! Oh, and that's a monster shot to close out the third. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game, and both teams putting up points in a hurry. Clippers lead by two. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. So with Harden on the back. Oh, wow. yes! And throw it down. Wow. That was nasty. Love watching him go hard and attacking with power. And Green slams it in. There is just no way to tell who is going to pull this one out. When you've had this many lead changes, you're looking to see which one of those plays is going to be a momentum swing. Leonard with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. And George kicks it to Tucker. Pass to Leonard. Here's George. That falls. Nice feed that time from Leonard. Leonard's got his fourth assist in this one. Smith with a screen on Hart. The drive by Green buries it from three-point range. And the Rockets lead by two. You love seeing Smith Jr. be assertive off the catch. Great shot. The best a man. Outside for George. 
In the corner, Harden. Now, here's Tucker, covered by Smith. Here's George. And the Clippers getting another bucket right there. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. If that doesn't belong in the dunk contest, then I don't know what. That is an impressive finish there by Green. Leonard finds Tucker, goes up and lays it nice and easy. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. And here's Green outside. Smith dishes to Green. Smith sets the pick for Green. Driving inside. This is how special Green can be at times. When he's hot, he can be an incredible scorer. Outside, George. And Tucker has it in the corner. And here's George. Feeds it to Lennon. Back to George. And George with the stuff. And guys, George takes pride in hitting big shots. Just get him the ball and let him do his thing. To the left wing. Whitmore with it. He's against Tucker. Smith's shot is good. There is just a hunger to Smith's game, and I think that helps rule him in these big moments. An intentional foul committed, but for what purpose, Greg? I'm not sure. And a scene of confusion right there. I can't imagine why he thought it was a good idea to foul there. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Daniel Tice is checked in for Kawhi Leonard, and Russell Westbrook is subbed in for James Harden. Tari Eason's checked in for the Rockets. Such a gifted passer. Westbrook able to spot those openings and use them. Houston in the lead. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Here's Green, and it's Green with the jam. How about Jalen Green stepping up, showing poise in a big spot? Westbrook surveying the D. Misses off the left iron. I guess we can credit the defense for that one going wide. They did everything they could to influence the shot. Green against George. Whistle blows. The coach's challenge has been issued. A scheme like this, out of the wire, this is what it's for. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of ten. Following the coaches by being able to challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this much of the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to review it. The double checking and the game continues on. James Harden, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Teron Lou as he talked with the team. Now, Ghost was still pretty positive. He told his guys a handful of shots completely changes this game. Just a few good minutes, and we're right there. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Here's Green. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Hard to put away those nerves in these moments. Green just has to relax and take the shot. That's good, going one or two from the line, and that puts them up by five. And not as productive a trip as you would like, but they're still in a pretty comfortable position. Leonard, the pass to George. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Back to Tucker. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. 
And now we've got the intentional foul. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. Yeah, Green is one of those players that always finds a way to create something offensively that gets his team good looks. Can't waste any time here. It needs to be a quick shot and a quick foul. Leonard kicks to George. Back to Leonard. Pass to Harden. Leonard with a screen on Brooks. The three from Harden. A shot off that time.
of star power at the guard positions on both sides. And you know, traditionally, B.A., when big guys match up, it's all about the power. But this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? Now the opening lineup for the Portland Trailblazers. Simons and Thibel are the two wings. Robert Williams out there with Jeremy Grant. And it's Brogdon in at the point. Six on the shot clock. Tice passes to Harden. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. And trusting his mechanics, Harden tossed one up. He happened to have a little luck there on his side. Brogdon with a screen on George. Outside Brogdon. That three's off the mark. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. And they go to the intentional foul. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Zubats, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Now, into the lineup for your players. Number 40. Harden against Brogdon. George outside. On the wing man. There's the three. George, good. And George is deadly from deep. That will give you some longevity in this league. And it's Simons with the ball for the Trailblazers. It's a five-point game. And Grant, this season, the Blazers adding a G League affiliate in North Portland. The yeah, NBA, I mean, the second to last team to do it. And the Suns next season will make it 30 for 30. Now there's a G League counterpart operating under each of the league's teams. Here's Harden. After the basket by Portland. Back to Zubats. And it's slammed in by Zubats. And remember, James Harden is usually a front runner in the league in assist. He has great vision. Brockton against Harden. Pass to Williams. Brockton feeling it out a bit. Driving in. Deflected. Terrific defense from Zubats. His team relies on him to help alter shots. Shot by Leonard. No good. The Trailblazers have gone one for three so far. Grant with it. Harden picks him up. Here's Brogdon. That's good. His Not first made Brogdon. shot in three attempts. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Leonard outside. Let's the three fly. And George with the basket on the assist by Leonard. George has got six. George with the innate ability and sense. And he has to get it off quick. Brockton with a screen on George. Here's Simons. Pass to Williams. Back to Simons. To the middle. And there's the foul. It's on even to Zubac. That's his first foul of the game. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. The Clippers making a switch here. Westbrook's checked in. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Aiden's checked in. The guard rising up Simons with some thunder of his own. The Clippers in the lead. Pass to Zubac. Simons against George. And now we've got an intentional foul. So for the Clippers, Tice is checked in for Zubats. And it's Highland in for Paul George. And also a switch here for Portland. Sharp, he's checked in for Simon. And the Trailblazers call time here. Who wants one? Come on, let's hear it. Here's Westbrook. Outside Highland. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Nice job by Russell, just not forcing anything on that play. Brockton against Westbrook. Got a piece of it. In transition, here come the Clippers. And Westbrook slams it home. When you get a chance to run the floor like that, you have to capitalize. Great hustle on that play. Sharp goes in, and he goes in for the dunk. That's the kind of pressure Sharp will put on you. It's not one that's going to sit back. He will attack. Tice outside. Tice a screen on Brogdon. And there's the lob. And finished off by Tice. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. 
Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Now here's Brogdon. Drives to the hoop. And Brogdon with the stuff. How about Brogdon rising up to the rim? And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Six-point lead. Tice finds Westbrook. Tice is screen on Brogdon. Back to Tice. And finished off by Tice. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, B.A. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Sharp passes to Graham. Back to Sharp. And that one makes it two for two. He's in his rhythm. And Grant with a nice heads-up play, willing to make the next pass. And here's Westbrook. Back to Mann. Leonard passes to Mann. Back to Leonard. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. So difficult to stick with Leonard, cutting off the pick and roll. One of his bread and butter moves. Here's Sharp. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First personal foul. The first free throw is good. And the Clippers making a change here. He does not get the second one. Sharp still trying to find some comfort and familiarity at the free throw line. It takes some young guys longer. And so it... If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Clippers. Well, you got to be impressed with how selfless they've been so far. Their passing has been simply outstanding. Now, getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. Kawhi Leonard out there with Daniel Tice. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then there's Amir Coffey. And it's Highland in at the two. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Oh, man, when Kawhi dunks, you feel it. This is how powerful that guy is. Outside Brogdon. Pass to Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Tice outside. Back to Westbrook. To the paint. And Tice with the bucket. The assist by Westbrook. Tice has got six. Well, you're going to play Westbrook on that pick and roll to shoot it. He's underrated in being a distributor. Here's Aiton. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It's on Daniel Tice. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. For the Clippers, Tucker comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's George in for Highland. Anthony Simons, he's checked in for Portland. Henderson comes in for Brogdon. George, a screen on Henderson. Pass to George. Launches it. Hits a three-pointer. Nine points in the game. Well, Grant, you've been the up-and-comer, but you've also played the role of the veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? You know, B.A., your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important. And they're running. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. You always talk about the first two steps in transition and Paul George out quick and decisively that time. And that one's good. I just think that's trouble. You're going you're gonna to let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. George finds Tucker. Westbrook with it. Defended by Henderson. Back to Westbrook. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. What a fantastic play by Russell as he gets up in the air. It's just not your average two points. Timeout called. The Blazers. So for the Clippers, Zubats. He's checked in for Tice. Man comes in for coffee. And it's James Harden in for Russell Westbrook. And the Blazers making a change here. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Well, Brian, in his 10th season in the league, Mason Plumley started shooting left-handed. He said, quote, it felt good changing, and the more I practice, it just shorted up my decision. It's about the result, and I'm happy I made the change. I don't even question it, and that's where I like to be. Brian? Well, it's working for him, whatever he's doing. Allie, good stuff there. Thank you. A 
what a masterful performance for PG tonight, looking like the all-NBA guy he is. There's Simons with a three. Knocks down the long J. Simons has got 10 points in the game. Oh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Robert Williams picks up one. And he drops a first. It's both from the stripe. And Williams has got the ball here for the Portland Trailblazers. Trailing by 10. Back to Simons. Williams is screen on Tucker. And here's Simons outside. Rebounded by James Harden. The Clippers have gotten each of their six shots to fall here in the second. Tucker finds Harden. Tucker with a screen to the inside. Tucker with a screen. George with it. Bible picks him up. And slam dunk by Tucker. I've just seen these massive leaps from Paul George throughout his career, particularly as a playmaker. Now a timeout called by Portland. On the court is your high squad. has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. George against Simons. Grant, left side. Oh, Grant throws it down. Man, Jeremy Grant is one of those guys that's capable of highlight dunks on a nightly basis. That time, vicious finish. Here's Tucker. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got three assists now in this one. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. On the wing man, he's covered by Simons. Zubac with a screen on Brogdon. Six to shoot. George passes to Zubac. Got it. And the Clippers lead by 12. Nice job by Zubac using his size and just making his presence felt. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Pass to Harden. Now Zubac. Here's Man. He's covered by Simons. Back to Zubac. Ooh, Aiden with the block. Nice timing as Aiden's up there for the rejection. Oh, and the jam by Aiden. The big time throwdown. Check him out. Keeps the grip on that rim after the finish. A little extra emphasis. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials getting together here. They may want to review this one. And hold up. We're not going to have... The previous play is under the signaling that they are going to take a look at this replay. While this call may not decide the game, you always prefer to get it right. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So the replay was conclusive. All overturned. Grant, that one's going to count. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2K Sports. The Trailblazers, 34. you could join us we've got two quarters left to go in regulation Paul George has been sensational hey we didn't expect this not normally a big time assist maker he's done a great job moving the ball around you can get into a passing rhythm and so far all of his have been on point on the court right now for the Trailblazers we've got Murray Malcolm Brogdon out there with Anthony Simons then it's DeAndre Ayton and it's Grant in at the four Simons passes to Murray. 
I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Sharp, he's checked in for Portland. Into the lineup for the Trailblazers. Number 17, Shingen. Here's Grant. Here's Murray. Outside for Brogdon. Fires the three. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Brogdon's got seven. A good shooter from behind the arc. Selective when he does it. Love how Brogdon lets that one fly. Outside Harden. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and getting it. Oh, wow. What a play. Good pass from the two-guard sharp. Solid at finding his open man. George finds Leonard. Portland grabs the miss. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Pass to Sharp. And he takes that one up and powers it through. The windmill flush. That is one nasty finish. My goodness, the punch on that one. Wow. his personality come out in this game like that. The Trailblazers have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Sharp. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to go on Paul George. That free throw, no good. Coffee. He's checked in for Los Angeles. Highland comes in for Paul George. And he's good on the second. Over a minute and a half now into this third quarter action. Leonard looking over the floor. Pass to Coffee. Jacks up a three. Knocks it down from distance. Coffee's got his first three points of the game. Well, Leonard usually has humble assist numbers, but that doesn't mean he's not going to keep his eyes open. Aiden. And Aiden with the stuff. Just a big play at this juncture of the game. Second chance points could be the key for them. Impressive effort right there. That's what they need to mount a comeback. And he lobs it up top. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Second personal foul. First team foul. And he knocks down the first one. A big group substitution here for Portland. Williams is checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Walker comes in for Grant. Anthony Simons, he's checked in for Sharp. And it's Scoot Henderson in for Malcolm Brogdon. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Brian, the Clippers next season will inaugurate their futuristic new home court in Englewood, designed to give fans every comfort. And the Clippers a distinct advantage as well. Along the baseline, 5,000 fans will fill 51 uninterrupted rooms. The section, nicknamed The Wall, is acoustically designed to be loud. So, Brian, better get ready. <laughs> Turn it up. Thanks, Alec. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. And here's Simons outside. Tice grabs the miss. Los Angeles has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Coffee's got six points. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. It's stolen by Henderson. Inside. Oh, hello. Time Lord with you. Yeah, you see the vision from Henderson. Just a terrific facilitator. Tice outside. Leonard outside. Tice is screen on Walker. Here's Leonard. Williams grabs the board. Portland has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Ooh, and powered down. What a jam. Such a dynamic offensive player. Great speed, great hops. Simon's hard to stop when he makes his move. Pass to Tice. There's the drive. And finished off by Tice. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. 
And so they choose to intentionally foul. And the Clippers will go for a different look here. Zubats, he's checked in for Tice. Tucker comes in for Kawhi Leonard. George, he's checked in for Highland. And it's Russell Westbrook in for Harden. Thibel, he's checked in for Portland. Sharp comes in for Henderson. 46 seconds left in the third. Westbrook, the pass to Coffey. And there's the foul. It'll go on Matisse Thibel. That's his first foul of the game. Second team foul. George against Thibel. George passes to Tucker. Shot clock at six. Here's Coffey. He's covered by Simon. Two second difference between shot and game clock. From the arc. And again, it's Portland with a three. And his perimeter shooting might be the key to trimming their deficit. Well, he's doing everything he can to make them competitive. And by everything, I mean draining threes. Outside Tucker. Shoots over Walker. Tucker, no good. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that position, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Portland calls timeout. So it's Los Angeles, leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. Great hands, great vision. That makes great things happen for your offense. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. Westbrook and George manning the backcourt. Terrence Mann is out there with Kawhi Leonard. And it's Tice in at the five. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. No good off the back of the rim. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. To the left side wing. Down low. Here's Simons. That's good from Aiden on the assist by Simons. Great decision by Simons. He's got the reputation of a score-first guard. He can dish it. Aiden against Westbrook. And for some reason, he decided to foul there. NBA, that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind it. Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for Murray. There's Simons with a three. And again, it's Portland with a three. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. I don't like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. And that one's good, man. In crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Portland trailing here. And it's Simons penetrating. Dybal on the wing. Pass to Simons. Ooh, too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Los Angeles. Well, you love their unselfish play. Keeping that ball moving, good shot to great. That's winning basketball. Well, we've also seen them being very aggressive down in the paint. All game long, they've been hunting down those inside points. Foul Harden, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And there's the foul. It's on DeAndre Ayton. That's his third foul of the game. Brockton against Harden. Pass to man. And here's George. Tice sets a screen. Just five to shoot. George finds Tice. And finished off by Tice. That's the man you want running into the pick and roll. It's Paul George at the helm. He's got the ball and makes a great play. And here's Aiden. Tice defending. Aiden passes to Sharp. To the middle. Oh, and the jam by Aiden. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. 
Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. And slammed it home. And in a game this close, they're going to challenge the call. The coach does not agree with it, and he wants him to take another look at the monitor. <laughs> and even with the coach's challenge in place. Disputed, even after the video oh, review. There's no doubt One there's going to be a gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take us. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So they see clear evidence of a bad call, and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. Sharp goes in. Aiden passes to Brogdon. And again, it's Portland with a three. Brogdon steps up, fearless, with that one. Here's Harden. And they're not happy with the call here. Coach has given the signal. He's going to use his challenge. Probably a good idea in such a close contest. And he's the line for James Harden. These personal foul calls still disputed even after the video review. There's no doubt there's going to be a gray area in a lot of these calls. The ruling on the floor stands. And they've made their decision. The call will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still peed. Zubats, he's checked in for Tice. Williams has checked in for Portland. Anthony Simons comes in for Sharp. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Guys, over the last break, I listened to Chauncey Billups address the team. He was very passionately telling his team, don't give them an inch when they have the ball. This game is going to come down to defense. I need you guys to work hard and close this one out. Guys? Okay, thank you, Allie. Wow, Jeremy Grant, the evolution will be televised. Phenomenal at staying cool and collected in that big moment. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. Down low. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. Simons has a great change of pace when he comes off of those screens, so it might not look like he's going fast, but he might take an extra step. I just can't keep up with that. Grant against Leonard. Side. Here's Simons. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, wow. wow. And Simons saying, bring it on. I got this and more. We've got 108 left in the fourth. George drives in. Oh, and the dunk by George. Go ahead and lead him, Paul George. Stepping up a huge shot at this moment in the game. And it's crucial that Simons takes that responsibility and gets it done. Los Angeles has gone 7 of 9 from 3-point range so far. Harden against Brogdon. Right side Harden. Here's Mann. Misses the 3. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. And they go to the intentional foul. Second personal foul. Simons passes to Williams. Simons against George. Now here's Simons. The D's right on him. Here's Brogdon. And it's Portland with another. Nice to see Brogdon just step into one from the mid range. At this point, it just feels like it's over. Do you want to keep expending energy, or do you want to start thinking about the next one? And that's an intentional foul. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Harden scanning the floor. Zubac. Money! And with their backs against the wall, Zubac goes off. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Oh, stolen by Harden. And an intentional foul right there. 
first personal foul. He hits the first one. Fourth and that shrinks the margin to just four. At the line. Harden hits them both. And this is who you want at the line in a close ball game. James Harden. Oh, they get a hand on it. Oh, George with a steal. Now a timeout call by the Clippers. They're down by three. Only two seconds left in the final quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And a three would tie it up. If they have to make one extra pass to get a better shot, they probably have just enough time to do that. Daniel Tice. His man. And buries it from deep. Oh, an enormous three-pointer. Here's Simons. Oh, had a chance to win it right there. Couldn't get it to fall. Well, four quarters were enough to decide this ball game. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. Thibel and Grant are at the forward spots. Anthony Simons out there with Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Williams in at the center position. So you have to prevent him from getting to the paint, uh, unless you want to see a highlight. Harden with it. It's good. It's impressive how Harden makes room inside. He finds a way to navigate the shots. Harden's gone 80% from the field. Four of five shooting. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And the foul goes against the Clippers. And that one falls for Simons. And so Simons nails both of them. You see why he's one of the guys they want at the line in these situations. Now Harden. Pass to man. Tice with the ball. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Three on three. Three-pointer is up from Brogdon. From deep, Brogdon. Well, everything in sync right now for Brogdon. Nice base, good timing, good release. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Jeremy Griffin. Jeremy Griffin. First personal foul. First team foul. Tice a screen on Brogdon. To the inside. To the paint. Grant against George. Down to five on the shot clock. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. George has got 22. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. Williams passes to Simons. Williams with the screen inside. Out to Simons. From downtown. Again, it's Portland with a three. Well, you got to find ways to keep feeding Anthony Simons. Right now, this guy is on fire. Up top, Harden. Guarded by Brogdon. Here's Man. George outside. Three pointer. And the Clippers hit again from deep. Yeah, Paul George sharpening his swords now. Love to see him take that shot. Simons passes to Grant. Outside for Brockton. On the wing, Simons. Pass to Williams. And Williams punches it home. Wow. That takes steady nerves right there. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. And so they oh, foul the intentionally. Malcolm Brogdon. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. And the Clippers have possession. Now here's George. And he commits the intentional foul. And for now Second personal foul. Third team foul. Good on the first. And that narrows the lead down to just three. And the Blazers making a change here. Aiden's checked in. And so he hits both. Yeah, just a fruitful trip to the line. 
He's made this a one-possession game. They'll probably slow things down now. Burn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. Simons passes to Brogdon. Aiden in the high post. And he sinks it. They've been battling all night. Now they're on the brink of putting this game away. No, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. So the first one drops. And that narrows the lead down to just three. Certainly a reliable free throw shooter, but these always feel different. Let's see if Kawhi can focus in. And so here's Portland. This looks like a real mismatch. These teams have very different expectations. And in any matchup like this, the early stages are important. The team coming in as a big underdog has to keep it close. Otherwise, things can go south and hurt. So the opening lineup for the Sun. Kogi and Durant are the forwards. Gordon out there with Booker, and it's Bull in at the center position. Here's Hayton, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. That one's on Eric Gordon. An absolute beast inside. Love how he uses his size to draw these fouls. He's off on the second. A little breakdown there, letting him get that rebound. You can't allow that to happen. And there's the call on Matisse Thibel. Matisse Thibel. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Here's Booker. Off the inbound. He drives in. And the dunk by Booker. And once Booker has some momentum, get out of his way. 
throwing himself towards the rim off the drive. And the basket is good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. And the basket by Gordon. And it's fun to watch guys like Booker that see the floor this well. Seems to always get it to the right man. Here's Grant, and Bull sends it back. And they're on the break. All alone, throws down the breakaway jam. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Now here's Durant, and the jam by Kevin Durant. Wow, the skills at his size. Durant makes a number of moves every game that just leaves you shaking your head. Trains it from beyond the arc. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. Hey, oh, that was something else. That was <laughs> When you're that long and that athletic, I'll tell you, KD has the ability to put a little extra on it. Here's Brogdon. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Brogdon's got five. We just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. For three, Booker. They get the rebound. And there's the pass to Okogie. Left side, KD. Just five to shoot. Pass to Okogi. The Suns need to get a shot off. And finished off by KD. Outworking the defense. Durant going the extra mile to protect the play. Here's Grant and the dunk by Grant. Flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Gordon with it. Now defended by Grant. And again, it's Kevin good to rent with a three. three. He's got nine. You'll take that shot every time. KD and rhythm, perfect timing on the kitchen. And the slam dunk by Simon. A little artistry in the painted area, converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. To the paint. And the dunk by Bull. Kevin Durant takes Kevin pride Durant. in playing the right way. He looks to make the extra pass and set up his teammates. And the dunk by Grant. What a contest this is turning into. Almost like a dunk contest, Kevin. You're right, Greg. They are really going at it. It's bound to only get more intense from here on out. Okoki, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. And at 7-2, Bull has incredible vision, including noticing when his teammates are open. Grant goes in, and the dunk by Grant. And, and everybody out of the way. I mean, clear the lane. We've got some rims to wrap. What a sensational play to get to the rack for the slam. Gordon with it. Now guarded by Aiton. to the inside and the dunk by ball that's just too easy for ball once he gets the right position his focus there is on the finish Simons and the slam dunk by Simon and he wanted everybody in the building to feel that ferocity and we did and we, we felt it even over here we felt it here's a Kobe that's good a nice assist from Durant Durant's got three assists in the game and they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And the first time out of the game called here for the Trailblazers. Man. And almost entirely new group here for Portland. Robert Williams is checked in for DeAndre. Walker comes in for Grant. Murray's checked in for Matisse Thibel. And it's sharp in for Anferni Simons. Passes to Brogdon. 17 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Get up, Malcolm. You think this guy is just about jumpers? There's more to his game. Now here's Booker. Oh. 
Leads away. And it's Phoenix scoring again. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Now a timeout called by Portland. Portland, your Substitution on the court. Here's Simon. And the quarter ends with some stifling defense right there. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for Phoenix. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And what stands out to you from the Suns in this one? Boy, that their offense looks really good when everyone's in sync. Terrific first quarter. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. So at Durant sitting on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. They've got O'Neal. Bradley Beal is out there with Grayson Allen. Then there's Drew Eubanks. And it's Roddy in at the three. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Alder. David. First, Thank you, Kevin. We all know Achilles' injury used to be career-ending. Kevin Durant says Dominique Wilkins was one of the first guys who came back the same. It was a motivation and gave me confidence that I could do the same. And now Wilkins says KD has really taken hold of this and become the spokesperson for this injury. So we're passing the torch. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, passing the torch, David. Thank you so much. And the Suns with a completely new group on the floor. And Phoenix has possession. KD a screen. Back to Booker. Shot clock at six. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. For three. Booker's got the lead up to five now for the Suns. Simons from outside. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. And Steve, when a team wins or loses a few in a row, how much does that carry on to the next game? You know, Kevin, it, it carries on. It's dependent if you're executing and playing well. Sometimes you can just lose and you feel good because you're playing the right way. Oh, did you see that? He's just playing with him now. Anthony Simons baiting the defenders. Here's Gordon. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. In over a decade in the NBA, you can say Eric Gordon has been much more than serviceable. A old, gritty vet at that two-guard position who has been very consistent. You know he's going to get you double-digit points and play his tail off on the defensive end. And the dunk by Grant. If he has a lane, Grant's taking it right to the rack. The Suns have gone two of five from the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. KD finds Booker. Let's the three fly. Trains the three-pointer. Booker's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for the Suns. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. You know what it is? It's his creativity. That's making this engine run. And this is how confident Brockton is in his scoring ability. Able to get it done from everywhere. Gordon, the pass to Bull. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Down to five on the shot clock. Gordon dishes the Bull. It's over Brockton, and it's Aiton with the rebound. High percentage look for him. The bottom line, they're not all going to go down. He's really taken a hold of this first half and made it his. He is making all the right decisions out there. Gordon up on top. He's guarded by Brogdon. Here's Durant. Kicks it out to Booker. And stolen by Feibel. Down low, and Grant with the clear cut to the hoop. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. Yeah, inside, Bowles does a great job just making subtle adjustments and utilizing that length. And it's Thibault in the corner. 
And a shot by Brogdon, wide open. And a number three for Portland. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Pass to a Kogi. Outside Durant. The rebound by Grant. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. And a throws it down. A primary responsibility of Brogdon. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to the point. Gordon kicks to Bowl. And that one is good. And it's eight points for Bowl Bowl. And you're not going to pass up that kind of thing. Trailblazers leading by three. There's the pass to Simon. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Turning into such a great score. Anthony Simon is a bucket getter. Having another big night. Inside. Bowl. No good that time. Some solid defense from eight. Simon's the pass to Aiton. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Heads up play by Simons. He sees a better opportunity for his team and moves the ball. That one drops for him. Bulls got six here in this quarter. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. To the inside. And the dunk by Grant. Anthony Simons looks real comfortable running the pick and roll as the young combo guard continues to grow as a passer. To the middle. And stolen by Eaton. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. Not loose. And Simon's wide open. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. Terrific way to end a half. Nailing a three to add to the lead. And that does it for the first half of play. Trailblazers lead by 12. From Portland, we're back in a moment. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. One of the stories here, and Bernie Simons getting it done today. His play so far is what fans love about him. He has gone right at the defense time and time again. And not standing around, not selling for perimeter shots. He's looking to attack. Here's Booker. Simons on the wing. He's joined by Bible. Bob Williams is out there with Murray. And it's Brogdon in at the one. So that's who Chauncey Billups starts the second half with. Pass to Brogdon. And it's Williams finishing it off. And here we go. Darkness challenge happening right now. This one in regards to the personal foul. Seeing if that was the right call. First personal foul. First team foul. And this is the time now where the officials can review in closer detail what constituted the original personal foul. Previous players to determine indeed and the one thing with replay review is that when you see the slow motion replays you really get a new appreciation for just the immense speed at which these players are moving it. after the review the ruling on the floor is overturned to, to make the right call and the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air so they have determined to overrule the original call and guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, the assist. they got it right with Eric the review. Gordon. Now, that's what I call a momentum changer. Yeah, when you've got a point guard, that kind of spring, no lead is safe. You're totally right. That can be a shot in the arm for them. A spark that turned things around. Like at six. Brogdon kicks to Williams. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. Williams has got the lead up to 12 now for the Trailblazers. And so Booker will bring it up for the Suns. And the basket by Gordon. 
Gordon's got five points so far. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Shooting foul, and it looks like, yep, it's a coach's challenge on the personal foul. That triggers a replay review by the official. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast. The previous play is under the The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively, and involving the coaches by being able now. The challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. After review, the ruling on the floor stands. And so the word is in. They have decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this was the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to review it. The double checking and the game continues on. Different look now for Portland. Jeremy Grant is checked in for Matisse Teibel. And it's sharp in for Brogdon. And for the Suns, Bull Bull. He's checked in for Eubanks. And Akogi subbed in for Allen. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Hooker the pass to Bull. And the dunk by Bull. Oh, you got a feel for a guy getting dunked on like that. I mean, he's got no shot to stop that unless maybe he can pick up another foot somewhere. Williams finds Grant. Into the lane. Here we go. One-on-one. -on -one. Here's Booker. And the dunk by Booker. And this is how you convert in transition. Booker running the floor well and being rewarded for it. Power timeout called by Port Blunton for some new flag. He's checked in for Portland. Henderson comes in for Inferni Simon. Trailblazers leading by eight. Here's Henderson. Takes it off the glass. A little like Donovan Mitchell there. Henderson makes some really tough shots in traffic. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Well, Kevin, without question, the game has changed in recent years. There's always a debate about which game is better. Hall of Famer Julius Irving said in the 80s, nobody shot three-point shots unless they were down and it was out of desperation. The line was there, but the game was played inside that line. The game was played in the paint, inside out. Kevin, different does not mean better or worse. I would agree. <laughs> and now, yep, this Jeremy will be a coach's Ray. challenge. We thought First that might happen. Triggering foul. a review of the First personal foul. foul. And I think when it comes to Shooting some of the more Phoenix. difficult calls to Kevin make. Durant. Personal. At the line Phoenix for one. Phoenix. Tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able now. The challenge like this is something a lot of after the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And the announcement on the review is that the, the foul was called in air. So they have determined to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Grant goes in, and the dunk by Grant. Slicing to the rim with confidence. When Grant attacks like this, it's fun to watch. Booker dishes to KD. And then Durant with the dunk. Assistant. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional, but not exactly <laughs> logical. <laughs> How about pointless? It's a foul there. I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Eubanks, he's checked in for Bull Bowl. O'Neal comes in for Kevin Durant. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Booker. Some changes for Phoenix. Bodies checked in. And Grayson Allen subbed in for Gordon. Hey, if it's working for you, why stop? They've been calling Grant's number all night. And Beal kicks to O'Neal. 
He takes it in. And really the defense fouling in there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. The Suns have shot two free throws and they're one and two so far. He's off on the first for the Trailblazers. Williams comes in for DeAndre Ayton, and Walker subbed in for Jeremy Grant. And Walker's got the ball here for Portland. But right by Henderson. And then Henderson with the dunk. Explosive in every way. The quick first step. And then you see the hop. Beal with it. He's picked up by Walker. Releases. The shot by Beal. No good. Everything worked except for the outcome. You want him to shoot that every time. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Walker. The Trailblazers is making a switch here. Number 11. Hodgins checked in. Suns trail by 11. Here's Ronnie. Still yet to score. One oh three left to play in the third. Here's Eubanks. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Passes it to Murray. Good. Nice job down low. Murray's got the lead up to 13 now for the Trailblazers. Nice pass. You love how Sharp anticipates situations. Trailblazers foul. The Suns have gone two of four at the free throw line. Personal foul. Second team foul. The first free throw is good. And the Shooting Suns here Phoenix. with a different look. Bolt, he's checked in for Eubanks. Kevin Durant comes in for O'Neal. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Grayson Allen. And it's Devin Booker in for Bradley Beal. There's 37 seconds left to play in the third. Sharp. From outside, off the mark. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. That one's in there, and the Portland lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Durant. And here's Sharp. Oh, yes! yes. Wow! Anytime Sharp lifts off, it's showtime. Phoenix has gone a very strong four for five from three-point land in the ballgame. Now here's Booker, guarded close. Fades. Offensive rebound. A high-level score. Once KD gets cooking, it's tough to slow him down. Time called here. Time the Blazers time time decide time to talk out. it over. Guarded. The Blazers bring it in. And here's Brogdon from the arc. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And when Beal is locked in like this defensively. And so it's the Portland Trail Blazers holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're popping the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. Back right after this. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. On the court now for the Suns getting going here in the fourth. The big three for the Suns, all on the four. Booker and Beal is the guards, and KD at the four. Then there's Bull, and it's a Kogi in at the three spot. It'll go. The Portland lead is cut down to eight on the bucket from Durant. Durant's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Portland's gone five and nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Pass to Brogdon. To Simons. And the slam dunk by Simons. Anthony Simons is more than capable of hammering it down, especially when the defense isn't guarding him tightly. Nailed from three point land. Playing from behind right here. Not easy, but he is answering the bell. The reason why is not just scoring, it's the way he's doing it. Efficient. That's what you need at this point in the game. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Back to Bowl. And the dunk by Bowl. 
a fifth Strong move to, to the 10, trying to here. get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. Durant against KD, and he converts the layup. Durant's got four points in the quarter. Strong inside move right there. KD once again getting it done. Simons, the pass to Grant. And there's the drive. Count that bucket. Grant's got 22. Very high percentage look for Grant. Those kinds of plays just get you in rhythm and keep you there. And now they decide to foul intention. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Here's KD. Almost, but it rolls out. Trailblazers leading by seven. And the slam dunk by Simon. A jack of all trades, Jeremy Grant also has a strong feel for when his guys are uncovered. Booker with no one around sinks the three-pointer. Booker's got 12 points here in the second half. He has really made an impact from beyond today. That's another triple. Just think where they'd be without all the work he's done from the three-point line today. And it's the way Aiden uses his body inside. It's what allows him to get so close to the basket. Booker with it. Two now minutes. guarded by Aiden. And the cut by Bolt. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. Aiden. And Aiden throws it down. And a strong showing of physical strength there from Aiden. Defenders have their hands full when he's around the rim. And the Suns call time. They're trailing by eight. 141 left in the fourth quarter. Now on the court is your high squad, Jim Brown, and William Geary. Jaden Sharps checked in for the trailblazers. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrich. Well, guys, during that last timeout, I listened to Frank Vogel talk to his team. Now, they've been happy with the way the team is shooting. You remind the players to keep taking those threes, that they've had some clean looks. That three goes in, it's always a welcome sight. Guys? Okay, David, much appreciated. If a floater, and that one's good. Bible. That's the pass you want. Orchestrate the offense, creating for others. For three, Booker. And it's Aiton with the rebound. And so Aiton will bring it up for the Trailblazers. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Pulls up. And the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. And this is where Aiton does the most damage. Inside, feels like he can score on any. For three, Booker, again, the miss by Booker. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Now the pass to Sharp. Now Brogdon. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Aiton wide open. And good. Coming on the assist by Brogdon. And now it's an 11-point Portland lead. Outside, Beal. Here's Durant. Connects in the foul line Kevin jumper. Durant. Come on, KD in the mid-range. Easy money. 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. I've been looking around. Pass to Grant. Aiton sets the pick for Brockton. Just five on the clock. Tries it from the top of the key. And there's Aiton, and that's good on the assist from Brockton. And the Trailblazers lead by 11. Hooker the pass to KD. From beyond the arc, and then some. Durant's got 31 points. Every team in the league wishes they had a guy named Kevin Durant. Here's Sharp driving in. So...
and it's the Suns to start out. All right, let's check out the starting group for the Thunder. Josh Giddy out there with Shea Gilgis Alexander. Then there's Gordon Hayward. Then it's Chet Holmgren, and it's Dort in at the three. Yeah, Kevin Durant making the A on the interior. Look out around the rim. Screen by Holmgren from deep. And Gilgis Alexander missing. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. Now here's Booker to the paint. And finished off by Bull. What you love about this young guard, Devin Booker, is his ability to hurt you with both his passing and his shooting. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. To the middle. Here's Holmgren. And the big finish by Holmgren. That's what we call a power finish. There's no such thing as gentle for the big man. After signing a huge deal with Boston in 2017, Gordon Hayward had that terrible leg injury. It's amazing, B.A., how quickly the trajectory of a career can change. It took Gordon Hayward a full year of rehabilitation after what was a gruesome injury. But I admire the work and commitment it took to get back, and now he is rebuilding and contributing to winning again. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Well, you can see how dialed in Gordon Hayward can be. When he's on his game, the vision is exceptional. Here's Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. Takes a three. And Gilgis Alexander missing. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Oklahoma City's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Dort for 3. And the three-pointer goes. Right into the rise and fire off the dribble. Ooh, Dort, that is nice. And there's a whistle. That'll belong to Shea Gilgis-Alexander. That's his first foul. First team foul. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Outside Durant. Back to Booker. Oh, sweet move. Rejected by Holmgren. And you can't forget about Holmgren's reach, especially when he's nearby on defense. Five on the clock. Gordon on the take. Blocked again. Dort, the pass to Hayward. Goes up from the top of the key. Phoenix grabs the miss. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. To the inside. Durant. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. Durant's got six. Now Kevin Durant's not missing chippies, folks. You allow him to get that kind of position, turn the lights out. And that one's good. Giddy. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. The Suns leading. Despite missing the playoffs in 2023, the future still looks bright for OKC doors. B.A., I don't know how you could not be impressed with what they did. They're accomplished in the regular season well beyond what the expectation was. So many people dismissed them at the start. What a bright, young core they have. Now here's Booker. Still no points. From deep three-point land. Sinks it. What range from downtown. Now Devin Booker ready on the opportunity to take any three he gets. That is pretty. Holbrook with a screen on Booker. He'll just Alexander from outside. Nails it from three. He's got five. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now here's Bowl. Here's Gordon. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Second team foul. That free throw good from Gordon. The Thunder making a switch here. Both free throws good from Gordon. Giddy against Gordon. Here's Williams. 
Out of bounds. It'll be Phoenix's ball. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. For the Thunder, Jang comes in for Hayward. And Williams is subbed in for Giddy. And Booker's got the ball here for the Suns. Leading by five. And Williams punches it home. A sharp steal and some quick offense cuts it down to a one-possession game. Well done. Bowl, a screen on Dort. Outside Duran. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. Durant's got eight. KD's shot selection is always on point. You want to concede the mid-range? He's more than willing to take it. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Some room here for Dort. And again, it's Oklahoma City. <laughs> this night already has the makings of an offensive war. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. There's a screen by Bull. Booker for three. That shot missing. Kevin Durant has been leading the charge for the Suns. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Phoenix. The most consistent attack on offense so far has been the mid-range jump shot. We'll see if they can keep that rolling. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence Jet felt Hollywood. inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. Royce O'Neal is out there with Drew Eubanks. Then there's Grayson Allen, then there's Bradley Beal, and it's Roddy in at the three. That's the Suns' five as we get into the second quarter. Now here's Holmgren. He'll just Alexander a good look. Gets an open look and hits it. He's got seven, and we heard some coaches saying the league punishes retaliation, and that might even encourage players to instigate. Grant, you think he's got a point? You know, B.A., I think he does. I mean, if guys are creating a dust-up to try to get opposing star players thrown out, the officials cannot reward them. Eubanks with it. Giddy defends. And an intentional foul right there. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. And it's a completely new group for the Suns. Durant, so effective inside. Boy, they don't waste any time on that inbound play. Very little the defense can do to react to that one. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. From behind the arc. Back to Holmgren. And the big finish by Holmgren. And you know, as a roller, Holmgren shows great hands, and he makes nice adjustments moving downhill. Who poked away. Gilgis Alexander with a steal. Pass to Holmgren. Back to Hayward. Takes the three. Drops in the three. That's why you keep your head up. If the assist is there, you can pounce. Here's Booker. Doris, how about the production we've been seeing from Shea Gilgis Alexander? B.A., he has taken that step from star to superstar. Simply stated, I think he's got the potential to make multiple All-NBA teams. The ability offensively to attack at three levels and to be equally good on the defensive end of the floor, this guy is something special. Two on the clock. The Suns need to get off the shot. Whoop, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. Boy, not sure what happened on that one. Just an unforced error. Here are the Thunder with the ball. They've outscored them 10 to 2 during this run. Gilgis Alexander from outside. Yes, sir! Gilgis Alexander with a deep three. Wow, Gilgis Alexander putting in the time to become a big time threat with big time range. Durant, the pass to Bowl. Good on the shot. Bowl's got six. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. He'll just Alexander from outside. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. And great awareness. Holmgren so good at reading the movement of his teammates. A very heady passer for a big man. Booker, the pass to Bowl. Back to Booker. by Holmgren. Pass to Okogie. There's the screen by Bowl. 
Two minutes remaining. Launches the three. Connects from downtown. Bulls got five points now in the quarter. Well, Joshua Kogi sees somebody working in space and puts the ball on time and on target. From deep, Hayward. Outside, Giddy. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Here's the three. SGA from distance. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. A minute 29 left in the first half. Here's Durant. And that's just too close for KD. He finishes inside. Yeah, what an absolute privilege to watch one of the greats do it. Kevin Durant, fearless. Here's Holmgren. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got his fourth assist in this one. Hooker surveying the D. And that one's good by Durant. He's got 14. Look at Kevin Durant, all six foot nine, but what a handle. Gosh, that move was pretty. And taking a look at this first half, they've just shown better shot selection. And I think obviously we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass so important. Holmgren against Durant, lets it fly from 18. And again, it's Oklahoma City. Yeah, and certainly room for growth from Holmgren in the mid-range. But good to see him taking the shot rather than passing on it. Here's Durant. He's got 14. Hook loose. Ooh, it's stolen by Gilgis Alexander. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Pulls it. SGA with the big... Finish on the fast break. Well, this is about knowing where to be in these situations. And Gilgis Alexander doing a beautiful job getting to the right spot. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. Call for the Thunder. T-shirt time, everyone. Let's go. Fifteen seconds left in the second quarter. Down low. Here's Eubanks. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And the free throw, no good. Outside, Williams. Here's Jang. No good. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder now holding a 12-point lead at quarter's end, building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Hey, thanks. KD, a slow start. How do you improve defensively? All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. You know, Shea Gilgis Alexander has been exceptional here, guys. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime. He has the ability to answer right back. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh, keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. 
And on the floor for Mark Dagnall starting the second half. We've got Lugan Stort. He's out there with Gordon Hayward. And it's Williams in at the center position. Now here's Gordon from deep three-point range. The shot off that time. Dort outside. Here's Joe. Oh, the thunder. Another three. Well, great decision from Dort. If your teammate is open, get him the basketball. Nicely done. What's something that stuck out to you about Lou Dort's game, Doris? I guess the first thing that pops for me, B.A., is how hard he plays the game, how willing he is nightly on the defensive end of the floor to take on the opponent's best scorer, to not get down in the dumps that he scored upon, and to bring the same effort no matter who he's playing and no matter what he's up against. Williams with the screen. Giddy against Gordon. Now here's Giddy. He's covered closely. Misses from close range. Well, we love his ability to attack the rim. He just loses a little bit of focus and misses the chippy. Nurkic inside. Working on Williams. Shot by Nurkic. No good. Oklahoma City's gone two for two from deep here in the third. Here's Dort. Here he goes. That one falls. Nice Dort. feed that time from Giddy. So Dort's got seven. Well, Lou Dort off the deck. That powerful frame on the drive. Don't mess with him, boy. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. For NBA players off the court, physical training has become paramount. And Celtics big man Al Horford told me the day-to-day -day grind has changed. Before it was just basketball. Now these other routines are being incorporated and it's really changing the game. And Brian, it's not just the veterans. Even the young players are seeing the benefits as well. Yeah, they really are. And you got to do it. Thanks, Allie. Boy, this guy is an absolute force of nature on the offensive end. SGA, I don't know what the defense is going to do with you. To the inside, O'Neal hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Well, what a job, punching the ball to the interior and finishing in the paint, nice. Dort, right side. And the layup is good off the glass. Dort's gotten four this quarter. Well, just finding the open man and making sure it's on time and on target. This is who Josh Giddy is. O'Neal on the wing. Dort with a steal. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Phoenix foul. Bradley Beal. Second personal foul. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. Boy, Shea Gilgis Alexander has become a walking bucket, folks. This is now an elite NBA score. And a new group getting ready for the Suns. Bowl, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Durant comes in for O'Neal. Okogie's checked in for Roddy. And it's Booker in for Beal. Jang, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Williams comes in for Giddy. Clock at six. Dort, the pass to Holmgren. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Yeah, it's just too easy for Holmgren. Man, is he fun to watch operate off the catch? On the wing, Durant. Pass to Bowl. The kick to Durant. Oh, it's stolen by Gilgis Alexander. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Count the basket. Gilgis Alexander's got 23 points. Yeah, teams will try to get physical with SGA, but make sure you understand that wiry frame is big time strong. Back to Okogi. Gordon outside. To the middle. Here's Durant. And the Suns get it back. It's good. Bowles got 11 points. Boy, the work ethic on the offensive glass just refuses to give up on that possession. Booker against Gilgis Alexander. Oh, it's his 10th basket on 12 tries. You got to appreciate the efficiency here. It's very long, and SGA so effective around the hoop because of that length. And Booker throws it down. Wow, the elevation, the creativity, highlight reel finish by Devin Booker. 
Timeout called. The Thunder. in for Holmgren. Williams comes in for Dort. And Joe subbed in for Shea Gilgis Alexander. The Thunder have gotten 8 of 9 to fall. Terrific offense so far in this third quarter. Williams against Gordon. Williams' shot is good. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. For three, Booker. That one is off. And so it's Oklahoma City continuing to pile it on. Up 22 as we head to the break. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter. But stranger things have happened. A Kogi and Durant there forward. Eric Gordon is out there with Devin Booker. And it's Bowl in at the five spot. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Jang passes to Joe. Pass to Williams. Williams against Gordon. Outside, Williams. 4-3. Bowl grabs the board. And Gordon has got the ball here for Phoenix. Booker for three. Williams grabs the board. Williams has got four rebounds now. Three-pointer. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Here's Durant. And Durant with the big finish. It's not just that Kevin Durant scores it. It is the efficiency with which he does it. This guy, you can lean into him on the offensive end. Williams from long range. Drops in the three. Williams has gotten himself on the board with a three there. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. Well, you know this. This is a guy who's looking for his shot the whole time. You have to know who you're guarding. KYP, know your personnel. A line change here for Oklahoma City. Booker finds Gordon. Back to Booker. Over Dort. And Booker the bucket on the assist by Gordon. Booker's got five points now in the quarter. Instinct, skill, the ability to be rise and fire ready. Devin Booker, yes, sir. Kept alive. It's Giddy on the wing. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And stolen by Booker. Here's Okogie. Flushes it down to finish the break. What a heady move by Devin Booker. Picks it clean and immediately looks to jumpstart the break. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Hayward with a screen on Booker. He'll just Alexander from outside. Inside. Dort. Pass to Holmgren. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It goes on Kevin Durant. I like whenever Holmgren uses his length to his advantage. Great at forcing the D to foul him inside. Two shots. also good so he hits both free throws yeah and many believe Holmgren must add muscle over time to his wire reframe we'll see if he focuses on doing just that Durant the pass to bowl that's tipped it's Dort on the wing the three ball he buries it from three and the Thunder lead by 21 and breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Oklahoma City. You have to be a fan of the energy they played with on the defensive end. Active hands and feet, and it's come up big a few times for them. 
Another thing I thought they did well was pressure. They forced a ton of turnovers, turned those opportunities into points. To the paint. And then slammed in by Durant. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. Holmgren, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Dort, left side. The three is up. The shot's good on the assist by Giddy. Giddy's got four assists in the game. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. And here they come. Booker with it. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. And there's a whistle. That'll belong to Shea Gilgis Alexander. That'll be a second foul of the game. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Well, the length and size of Kevin Durant make him a prime target on the interior. So good at forcing the issue close to the basket. And the Suns making a change here. Beals checked in. Oklahoma City has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Thunder. Seemed like the sheer volume of three-pointers today was the deciding factor. <laughs> and they'd hit one and then just dial it up again. And it worked. And what a huge performance it was for Shea Gilgis-Alexander. I think his steals tell the story. This guy was a disruptive force. And I don't think you can underestimate how important it is for a team to have someone in that role. Holmgren, the pass to Gilgis-Alexander. 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Oh, the Thunder, another three. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Here's Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. Devin Booker, not a guy who's going to just hunt out his own shot. If you're open, he'll find you. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Hayward with a screen on Booker. Gilgis Alexander from outside. The offensive rebound. Fires the three. Kevin Durant pulls it in. And so it's Durant who brings up the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Giddy against Booker. Down low. Here's Bowl. And finished off by Bowl. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. Outside Gilgis Alexander. And so it's the...